This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain adult language, violence, and sexual themes, as well as shocking revelations. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is A New Dark Age. It was written by Paul Fricker, and it's from issue 12 of Blasphemous Tome, July 2024. Keith Craig is our Keeper of Arcane Lore, and this is a one-shot. Uh, before we begin, I want to mention that we get most of our funding through our Patreon site. Your generous support helps to pay for our website and the club space and everything that goes into our video production. It's your support that keeps us going, and we deeply appreciate it. That being said, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Keith? All right. Thank you. It is September 25th, 2024 in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Our uh, investigators are all uh, seniors at the University of Arkansas, living in a uh, rented house just uh, outside of campus. Uh, they, uh, the five of them live together with another uh, senior, an Alice Hilrades, who uh, has not been home this evening. Uh, you've all gathered together downstairs, maybe to watch the newest uh, thing on T on uh, Netflix. Maybe Netflix and chill together. And so you're going to uh, be be hanging out. So, uh, how's uh What's everyone uh, up to? What What are you watching to this evening, Marco? Why don't you pick out what you're watching? I think we're watching something scary. And uh, Marco came in at about the halfway mark. He was out having a smoke and has been kind of trying to hide it and came in. And now he keeps asking, okay, who's that? Who's he? Who's she? And uh, expecting the others to to fill him in. Is it 2024? Yep. September 25th, 2024. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have to think of something scary that we're watching. Mm -hmm. Scary. What's scary on right now? Uh, uh, Agatha Romulus. all along. <laughs> it's not really scary. Mm -hmm. uh, the alien could, I think I just saw Evil Dead Rise got uploaded there the other day. Yeah, so like, oh, we're watching a movie. Okay, that works. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll have to watch that. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, you know, it, we'll say it's about um, 8 30 at night. And, um, you're uh, down on the first floor watching uh, Evil Dead Rising, and uh, you hear a uh, sound uh, in the kit in in the other room. Sounds like uh, something fell off the uh, cabinet. The hell was that? Uh, I'll probably, get up and I'll. It's just probably Louisa coming home. Yeah, I'll I'll walk in there. Okay. Spooky. Uh. You go into the kitchen, and um, you notice that the um, the door to the basement has uh, come unlatched. Like you know, it's one of those that because the ba it's an older house, so the basement, you know, your washer and dryer down there, uh, it latches, but you keep it latched from this side because down in the basement, the people can get in through the storm door, storm cellar doors, and stuff. Okay, so I'm freaked out because of the scary stuff we're watching. Um, I'm going to look at the, do we have a back door? Uh, you do. I look at the back door and the ground. Is there any, anything on the ground like mud or dirt? Nope. Okay. I'm going to look back into the living room, see if everybody's there. Uh, the, everybody's yeah. Yep. Four except of them are for, there. Except, except for Alice. Alice. Yep. Um, I'll go to the basement door and I'll. Uh, I'll open it wide and I'll look down. Is the light off down there or on? The light is off. I think that the 
a basement door just popped open for no reason. Did somebody leave a window open down there? No, but you know how old doors are, old houses, old doors. The foundation on this place probably shot the hell. Door probably doesn't shut right. Yeah. I'll I'll close the door and I will latch it and give it a stern look. And uh, inside, I'm probably hoping that a burglar hasn't just broken into our basement and, but you know, we'll let somebody else handle that. That's and right. I'll go back and I'll grab a beer and I'll go back and sit down. Okay. Um, yep. You make it, make it back in there. You got, got yourself a nice, uh, little, uh, pint, pint to drink or 12 ounces to drink there. And, um, the movie is, uh, you know, it's okay. Nothing, nothing can compete with the original Evil Dead and Evil Dead Two. So you know they're they're still good, but not not quite uh, quite up there with it. What day um, of the week is it? It is uh, Wednesday. No. Oh. Okay. So I don't get it. They're not zombies, but they talk. Oh my god! If you're going to interrupt the movie. Just fucking stay put, please. Stop leaving. We all know what you're going to do out there, by the way. Just stay put. Stop asking us the fucking questions. It's all based on ancient Sumerian archaeology. Well, in the most facetious of all possible ways. (laughs) I mean, no. I don't know. They didn't have books of paper bound in human flesh or any other kinds of thing in ancient Samaria. They'd be no, reading that's... cuneiform in the cellar, and that's not very likely, is it? If you guys are going to talk through this movie, I'm going to go all study. Right, I right, have an right, exam right, tomorrow right. anyway. All right, everybody, quiet, quiet. Just watch. About that time, uh, Phoebe, your your phone, you get a uh, text message in. Mm. And it's from uh, uh, Jonathan, Alice's boyfriend. And he oh. goes, uh, he goes, uh, have you heard from Alice? When was she due back? Just so we like out of character. You didn't? haven't, you haven't seen her since, uh, last evening. Oh, I haven't seen her. Has I anyone have seen a... Phoebe? Jonathan's asking, not Phoebe. You mean Has Alice? anyone seen Alice? Jonathan's asking. Not since yesterday. No. Did, does she, is that her boyfriend? Yeah. Not... And he hasn't seen her? Uh, I I saw her yesterday, but I'm gonna see. Yeah, but if she's not out with him, where is she? Well, some of us do study. She could be, you know, at the library. It's... That's. I asked when was the last you... time he saw her. I don't know. Twenty four hours. Yeah, he he writes back. He uh, last time he saw her is when he uh, dropped her off uh, yesterday about five o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, when he he goes, uh, when I call, it goes right to voicemail. Wait, did he drop her off here? Mm -hmm. I was here at five. I didn't see her come in. Did I see her come in? Uh, You probably heard her. Okay, I heard her. So I guess I heard her yesterday around five. Um, Do we, is is this dorm or do we have... Uh, it's an off, off-campus off house. Oh, it's an off-campus yeah. house. Mm-hmm. Are any of us sharing rooms, or do we all have our own? Probably. Probably with six of you in a in a home. Yeah. Well, Phoebe, does she share your room with you? Sure. You haven't seen her? I No. I, I Maybe I saw her last night, like her sleeping form in bed. I'm not sure. I, I'm up late. I was at the library until well past midnight last night. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I didn't even got, turn on. I didn't turn on the lights. I didn't want to wake her up. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you got home about midnight, she was was there. She was down in the kitchen, so you would have seen her there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've I, she just she's just out. I mean, it's a Wednesday, and it's Arkansas, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna unpause the movie and continue to watch. Okay. Bad time to mention I finished the milk. (laughs) There is a list on the fridge for a reason. Just write it down when you take the last one, please. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'll tell Jonathan we saw her last night and at five or no, this morning. Sorry. 
Uh, midnight. Midnight, yeah. Did any of us see her night. leave? None of us saw her leave, right? No. I, I am not my housemate's keeper. Probably at the library. What is her? Do we know her major? Um, Her major is mathematics. Yeah, she, she's got to be at the library. Could be. Uh, hey. He... He writes back, I've I've checked the library. She she wasn't there. How do you Does check an have... entire university library? Do you have the scanner of some kind? Does she wear a tracking belt? Sounds like up and down the out. stacks yelling her name. I don't know. Um <laughs> uh What's this guy just... like? Is he really clingy or like always like is this normal? Is he always up her butt? Because no. uh no, you, you've met him. He's he's a he's a little nerdy, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah uh, but you know, he seems like a Alice always talks really uh, well of him. You know, mm-hmm. but you know, so they always se- seem to get together on uh, Sunday. They go to their uh, their 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 church study group. Yeah. Hold on, the, I'm going to go into goal. the kitchen mm-hmm. and look on the fridge or anywhere where she might have left a note. Okay. Uh, you don't see any. There's no notes from her. Um, maybe she's. I the, don't, maybe she was. Maybe we just heard her come in. I don't know. Does maybe she she's have her own bad car? Home. Uh, she uh, does have her own car. Mm-hmm. Does anybody want to go downstairs and see if her car is in uh, the port? Sure. Okay. All right. We'll pause the movie. We can do bathroom breaks and stuff. It's going to take us four hours to get through this two-hour movie. (laughs) It wasn't that good anyway. Um, Phoebe, when you go uh, check, uh, her car is in the... uh, And then uh she's got... it. Either that's who we heard coming through the basement, or I don't know, maybe she went for a nap or something. I don't like... I'm just going to go check the basement. Well, it's dark down there. And she didn't turn the lights on. Okay. Go ahead. I'm not talking about my stuff, is she? Okay, I'm coming. Okay, so the two of you go go down into the basement. So uh, when you go down, it's got one of those little uh, bulbs on the steps that you got to reach up to get the pull chain to uh, turn it on. It hangs down from a wire. Mm-hmm. Down in the basement, uh, it's one of those where the uh, you know the foundation was built a long time ago. It's a cinder block, uh, cinder block walls, and you got the. Uh, the wooden shelves that someone just kind of built themselves, but your washer and dryer is down here. And what you notice immediately is the washer is uh, pulled out away from the wall and there's a door behind it that you've never seen. The, the door is a, is a wooden door and it's painted white and the paint is starting to crack and peel. What the hell? That's new to me. Has there always Uh. been a door down here? Yeah, the door you go up and down no, the stairs. The, behind the washer? Like behind the appliances, man. What kind of door? Just come down here. It's fine. It's safe. There's nobody down here. All right. All right. Darn, I was going to try to scare you, but whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm coming down. Okay. Uh, Nick and Dave, you ought to see the magic door behind the... <laughs> <laughs> when you come down, yep. Uh, just like uh, Phoebe called up, there is a uh, door... Uh, Behind where the washer would be, like so, the washer is pulled out uh, just a bit. Ooh, maybe we can get into John Malkovich's head. This door wasn't. Like, am I losing my mind? This door was not here. I don't it know. Was, we, like a secret door, you think it'd be like the same color as the wall, but instead is, it's painted. Is it, it, is it oh, full size or half size? It's a full size door. Well, how so, could we miss it? So the fucked up thing is like it's not even like it was just here because the paint's peeling. Like it looks old. Like it's old. Yeah. This was a movie. This door would definitely like represent like some sort of like id level, like mother's genitalia or something. Oh my god, John Malkovich. Have you been into Marco Stash? Because you sound just like him. Okay, there's no way. That there could be a full size door here because there never was a full size door here. I've done laundry. You can't miss it. Yeah, I don't. And like you said, the door is a jar. Nope, nope. The door's closed. The war the washer's pulled out from from it. 
I mean, I'm gonna well, like, I'm going to touch it. Like, could this be that pictures. someone painted this on here? What is this? Yeah. No, when you touch it, it is uh, feels like a wooden door. Well, we, we just see what's behind it then. Yeah, that it's the Necronomicon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, eat so, your soul. <laughs> who opens the door? Can we squeeze Probably. past the appliances? Yeah. We're oh yeah. Like, we're just yep. gonna push the appliance to the side. Yeah. 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 I would. I would open. The, I would open the door. You don't okay. think Alice is lying down here or something? It it swings away from you, and when it opens up, uh, you see beyond it a uh, passageway about thirty feet long. The walls and floor are made out of brick, and at the other end of the passage, you see another door that looks uh, exactly like this one. Wait, how how is this? I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of climb up on something and look out the the basement windows. Mm-hmm. There's nowhere this door goes. This- uh, when you when you look out the basement window, you see your neighbor's house, uh, like it's always been there. Yeah, but the 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 top of the door is actually higher up than the ground outside, isn't it? Yeah. What the fuck? Is the hallway longer than the distance to our neighbor's house? Uh, 30 feet. Yeah. This is oh. not possible. It's it's an optical illusion. It's got to be an optical illusion. Let's Let's check it out. Wait, do we need? Is there any light? There's no light. We need to get nope. flashlights, no, only, flashlights yeah. upstairs. Yeah, or your cell phone light. Yeah. Right. You guys don't always have your cell phone on you. Come on. I'm at twenty percent <laughs> here, I, but uh, yeah, all right. right. Okay. Um, when you shine your um, cell phone's flashlight down there, about halfway down, you see a sock lying on the floor. Oh, I think I know what that means. What does that mean, Marco? Oh, it means maybe. that this is definitely Freudian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard some guy talking about the id, the ego, and the super ego today, and I thought, is there a time travel in the room? <laughs> I'm not go. I don't. I. I'm not going down there. I have listened to enough true crime podcasts. I don't want to know what's. No, thank you. you I do. <laughs> Well then, be my. Guess. I'm an archaeologist. How how Maybe. does it smell if I stick my head in through the door? Is it? Uh, you ever been? Uh, in, it, it's kind of cold and damp. You've ever been musty. into like, uh, yeah, yeah, a little musty, undergroundy, all. soily. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I'll walk in. Mm-hmm. Look at the construction of it. Is it? It's brick. Yep. Brick walls and brick, brick. floor. Yep, brick walls and brick floor. And the ceiling? No, it's like a arch. It arches. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, why have we never seen yeah. this from the outside? Um, I'll I'll just walk down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, how does it, when I turn around? How does it look like it's attached to the house? Uh, when you turn around. Uh, you just kind of see the doorway. You see Phoebe kind of standing at the end of it. And it looks like it just kind of the bricks go. And then, you know, it's that the doorway, the opening. I'm going to snap a few pictures on my phone. While yeah, I'm, I'm taking pictures all along the way, too. Is there any uh, is there any graffiti on the walls? There is not. David, David, are you with us down here? Uh, no, I generally study in front of the TV because I find a little bit of distraction helps me focus. So I just sort of assumed you guys would wander back soon. I'll probably get curious after a couple of minutes. Yeah, but if David, I see you down here, I might also just come get you. David, get down here. We have a legal boundary dispute. <laughs> <laughs> There's a door down there, David. And a passage. Like a like a door door. <laughs> So um, I've never door? seen that door, huh? A storm no, like door? a full size door, like behind the washer. Someone pulled a the washer away from the wall. There's a door. A secret passage. Secret passage sounds pretty good. All right, <laughs> let me just mark this page. I'm gonna go um, up to my room and just see if Alice is there. Like, okay, 
having a nap uh, or something. When you go up to your room, Alice is not there. You notice okay. that her, um, you know, the little bags that you would put your dirty clothes in is not mm-hmm. there either. Oh, well, I'll just text Jonathan. Probably went to do her laundry, the laundromat. I don't think she carried her laundry to the laundromat. I don't know why she wouldn't take her car. Well, I figured if someone if someone had pulled the washer away, then it wasn't working. Maybe she tried to. I don't know. Yeah, we've got a washer down here. Washer and dryer. Is is there anything like um, uh, paneling, wooden paneling that maybe was moved out of the way, and the store was behind the washer, and then there was just a piece of paneling, and that's why we never noticed it. Mm-mm. You know, oh. now that if they're rejoining us, I might uh, just gingerly pick up that sock we found. Okay. Does this look like maybe hers? Uh, uh, give me a um, give me an intel sock. an intelligence roll to see if you yeah. would have paid enough attention and made note sure. of her sock. It is a extreme success. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember that she had like she was really big into Sailor Moon, and they, they were Sailor Moon socks. Oh. So now, this is totally her. So if she came down here maybe to do the laundry, found the door. Why was the... she down here in the dark? Oh, yeah, maybe. turn off the lights behind her to keep going. That'd be pretty weird, even if you found it. Well, maybe since her car is still uh, in, outside, she actually came down here with her laundry during the day, found that the washing machine was out of order, moved it to see if it was plugged in or connected properly, and yeah, then noticed the store, thinking. which we'd ignored because the lighting down here isn't very good, and usually we only come down here to wash. I don't think there was a door there, man. But but, but even if she did that, I don't know why she would take her laundry down. A, keep going down it, yeah. Or, these bricks are they clay are they yeah archaeology are they uh okay yeah, is this old a... old construction like okay. 1800s or uh pass regular pass uh it looks like a newer newer brick huh maybe within the last 10 50 years. years yeah no, 50, 50 years okay yep. yeah mm-hmm. And there's no graffiti, so no previous people have written anything on anything down here. That's weird. I'm okay. going to walk down to the other door. Okay. We're going to find the other matching parrot of the song. Who are our neighbors on this side of us? Uh, on this side of you, it's a uh, an older couple, uh, the Joneses. Uh, you've had interactions with them when you've thrown parties. They've kind of like, you know busy bodies have come over and sure. like gone hey you know yeah, keep it down i go to bed at four o'clock <laughs> <laughs> and so our creepy ass neighbors have built this tunnel into our basement that's really i don't it doesn't seem they, plausible they would honest. have had to have excavated to build put this in we would and, have heard it right well the lawn outside has never been disturbed to the you know Maybe they built the it last... a long time ago. They seem old enough. Ew. Weird. Old. What if they're creeping around our house at night and looking at us while we're sleeping? Mm-hmm. This is very All interesting right. from a psychological perspective. Your different we've all reactions got our... to finding the tunnel. We've, we've, we've all got our phones. So if a psychopath axe murderer comes out of the shadows... At least somebody call nine one. Okay, with that comment, um, where's everyone at, at in relation to the tunnel? I'm the farthest in. Okay, I'm probably about halfway. I picked up the sock and was waiting, okay. been taking pictures. Phoebe, I'm at the door. I've been like shouting at them. I'm not going you, in there. Okay, David. Yeah, I'm actually checking the connection on the washing machine to see okay. whether it is unplugged and whether the water line is still intact. Gotcha. And Nicholas? Yeah, I, I I don't think I would have gone in. Okay. Uh, Zephran and Marco, you notice that you have no bars on your, your cell phone. Uh, oh. well, David, uh, the, uh, the, when you 
when you kind of are checking the water the washer and stuff um it is still plugged in although the plug's a little loose because it's been kind of being getting bumped as people have been kind of sneaking past it and all but you do notice that like maybe where you're messing with it that uh there's laundry in the washer oh um is there a sailor moon sock in here uh if you, when you open it up all the yeah. it's like it's d- finished its spin cycle and if you spend a little bit of time digging through there there is the yeah. other sailor moon so- uh, sock it's clearly ladies garments even before i find that yeah so alice you have a match so it's the it's the famous mystery of what happens to the sock when you do your laundry she did her laundry the spin cycle finished she realized one of her sailor moon socks which is very attached to is missing and so she opened the door behind this is really entirely unreasonable yeah why <laughs> does this door exist is the question i don't well, think physically this can exist in the same plane as the rest of the house if i if i'm imagining i mean it could go well under it could have a door in their cellar that isn't at the building wall both these houses are older than 50 years but i think it's too high there'd at least have to be a bump on the lawns between the houses more than a bump because the tunnel itself is peaked uh, it's got to be an optical illusion like let's you know, the, um, st- the street that looks like it's going uphill but it's really going down yeah those sorts of things happen but it doesn't explain why we never noticed the door i figured it was just nondescript but it's I'm a little a psychologist oh he'll just go on about Jung. <laughs> maybe, was a, maybe Jung was a complete hack no maybe I hate when that you guy. Maybe there's something about when you don't expect there to be something there, you just sort of gloss it over. Well, that's what I was assuming yeah. at first, or there was just, I mean, a shower curtain. It's not like we'd peek behind it to see if there was a magic door, but I didn't see any sign of anything. Um, is there uh, like a junk utility shelf down here, I assume, of some kind? Yes. With I'd bleach like to... and soap and, yeah. Uh, I hopefully there is a, a tape measure on it. Sure. Yeah. So let's. I'd like to measure the actual depth of this hallway. I'll hold it here. I'll feed it down toward Marco, and you could take it to the yeah, end, we and we'll it. see how long this really is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as yeah. you stretch stretch it out, uh, it comes to twenty nine feet and three three uh, three quarters inches. inches. That seems like mm-hmm. a sort of a cult number. I mean, why wouldn't it just be 30 feet? And and the neighbor's house is probably six yards away. Yeah. 18 feet top. So this would really have to go almost to the other side of their, well, well into their cellar. It, it could be 29, it could be 30 feet, but it's it's not counting the brick thickness. So the brick thickness is cutting off the extra little that of oh i'm good now this should be is this better much better awesome awesome what he was having audio issues oh 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 does anyone have something round that we could just put down and see if the floor is actually level maybe it's sloping down more than we realize we'll there's get a cup of water there's yeah, let's see if it drains where the washer is so am i am i have i gotten to the door oh yeah yeah end? Is it wooden? Yep. Is it the same kind of door as the one behind us? Yes, it is. I'm going to open the door. Yeah, uh, take the tape measure with you. I'm going to see. When you go, um, it you know you know a door you can turn it, but it's got one of those la- la- latches on the other side, and so you kind of get it opened a bit and. Uh, when you open it up, it's kind of dark in there, but you know you can tell that there's like candle light in there, so because you can see the flickering and stuff, mm-hmm. and you hear a woman's voice go, uh, "Hello, who's that?" Hello? Um, Alice, is, Alice, what's your is neighbors. That you? Uh, our our neighbors. What do you mean? Well, we just found this tunnel. Uh, could you open is, it up? Is it just people over there? Yeah. 
We're, well, you met us before, right? You're, you're, no. you're the neighbor. No, I, the- I, I don't recognize your, your voice. Uh, you're not one of uh, those zealots, are you? I don't know what that is. We're college students. The, the Joneses go to church, but I don't know. Uh, so she comes over and she kind of uh, looks through the crack and, you know, she looks like she's in her mid forties. She's got, got brown hair. She's not wearing any makeup and uh, it looks like she hasn't washed her hair in you know, uh, a few days. And she's like going, um, Oh, you're, uh, you're quite clean. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh she, she, uh, she goes just a second. She, uh, opens up the latch and, and opens the door and she's like going, Oh, there's a, there's a, a few of you. No, well, there's uh, five of us. Oh, uh, I'm Z- I'm Zephyrin. Um, oh, this is Marco. Uh, okay. That's Nick and Phoebe and David. And, and you, you guys don't have any monsters over there. <laughs> well, oh. only on the TV. Well, I'm the faculty. Oh, uh, your TV yeah. still work. Well, yeah. No, oh. you have power problems. Okay. What, yeah, yeah. We, what we, year we, is it? What year is it? Uh, it's uh, twenty twenty four. I stopped really oh, counting yeah. the days, but never mind. I'm Marco. out of ideas. She Marco sounds like one of those doomsday what. preppers who like locked herself away for Y two K or some shit. Have you guys ever seen Parasite? Like this yeah, is no. definitely a, a freak that, living okay. in our basement. Parasite that that was that movie that won Best Picture a few years ago, right? Yeah. Uh, my name's name's In- Ingrid. Uh, Hi, Ingrid. Have you hey, seen our Ingrid. friend? Her name's Alice. Uh, there was a uh, a young lady um she was uh look washed like you did and she came came through here uh early this morning dark hair uh yes yeah yes yes yeah oh well we've been looking for her she should be you know getting ready to go to bed for school oh well uh, she, she came here and my, my husband yelled at her, you know, there was an intruder in her house and she, she, she ran out the front door. Uh Oh, well, Ooh. apparently, and we don't know why our two houses are connected. Uh, we live in the one across the green, green, and the, the, the green, green house. No, the, the grass. Oh. I mean, I assume you're in. What is you're in, what is what is your world like? What is wrong with you, Marco? Her no, I swear, there's, there's something here. There's... Zeph, ask her if she's hungry. Are you? Hungry? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I'm tired of eating uh, uh, bread and uh, uh, canned canned goods. Is your like, husband there? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let, let me like, call it. She's like, okay. Jeremy, Jeremy, it worked. It worked, Jeremy. See, David, this is what I'm telling you. These are like some wackadoo doomsday people. They've like built a bunker under their house or some shit. Except she kept up with foreign best best picture awards. Well, yeah, but odd. that was what four years ago. I mean, they locked themselves down here four years ago or something. Is, like is there one of those slide latches on our door as well? Uh, there was not. Uh-huh. Um, before- gonna, it's, uh, there's got to be a shovel at least um, and if there's something that's more like a, I don't, a matic I'm going to pick that up just okay. to be sure if- that the husband doesn't come down here with a shotgun and yeah mm-hmm. I think you're right Phoebe he- that these people are unhinged. before he gets down here can you give us like a sign or something if you're under duress or being held against your will or something or are you okay uh well- I I am now. Is 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 wonderful. She's like going, and the the door the the door at the top of the stairs to the cellar opens. You see a man. He's got like a kind of like a thick cloth bandana tied around his head. And he's got really long hair, a long beard, and he's got his hand behind his back. And he's like going, Ingrid, Ingrid, Grid, are are you are you in trouble? She's she's like, who are these people? 
Hey, you must be Jeremy. Jeff, watch yeah. out. He's got something behind his back. We're your neighbors. We uh we our just neighbors. found this yeah, we just found this passage that connects our two houses by accident. What? We were looking for our friend Alice. Do you have power? Wife. We don't uh, uh, electricity, yeah, of course we do. You don't have power? It worked. You were right, Ingrid, it worked. Yeah. What, what are you guys talking about? I don't like these people. I think he, we need to go. He come, comes down the steps. He's like, we, we've got to go, in, Ingrid. The zealots are coming. We've got to go. No, you, you got to tell us where our friend is first before anyone's coming through here. And uh, Jeremy goes, your friend? I, and Ingrid goes, oh, the, that, that that girl, that girl that you scared, scared this morning. Oh, she... She she went went running. She she's a uh, she went out into the city. Oh, you know, I, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you know, uh, there was a stranger in her house, and I I yelled at her and uh, charged at her, and she she ran yeah. off. You know. Okay. Well, what none a... of us have seen her for a while. And she's but you're saying you her. dug this tunnel and put this door in our house, and then you were surprised when someone opened it. No, we we didn't out. we didn't dig it. We, we we made it appear. What are you talking Ooh, about? What are you talking about? David, I really don't like this. I think we need to go. Can I can I roll psychology on these people to see how how mental they are? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, hard 20. Uh they believe what they're telling you. Oh, sure. So, so uh yeah. Who are the, the zealots? Are they like a band or something? Or street yeah, band? they're 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 the law. They're the new law. You know they they. You what? know, so we can talk about it about it in your house. I, I just got to grab yeah, well, grab my my device. Why don't you guys step through and we'll okay. get you some assistance? I, I, me. Awesome, yeah. And so uh, Jeremy goes over, and on the table you see this thing about the size of like a uh, two cases of soda stacked on top of each other. Uh, it's got um, okay. some tubes and wires and valves coming out of it, and you know it's got a little making a little bit of a noise and all. He uh, like an old he, uh, radio. Yep, <laughs> kind of like that. And he, uh, he goes in there. He's got a bulb, even got a bulb on top of it, you know, uh, like a light bulb on top of it. That um, is, And he turns it off, and so he picks it up, and he's like going, okay, let's go. What is well, wrong we can, with we'll, you? Inviting well, these people, these crazy people. What's well, wrong we'll, with you? We'll, we'll call the police. These guys need this. help, yeah. Let's just find out what the hell's going on. Come on. Let's okay. just make sure we close the cellar door on their side and then close the cellar door on our side and then put the washer back in front of it and then maybe put the dryer on top of the washer. What about Alice, though? Yeah, if we want to give well, her... A... Well, if we, she right. left their house and she's just outside yeah. somewhere. Uh, about that time uh, when uh, Jeremy's walking toward the uh, cellar door in their house, the... Uh, the the cellar door up to the ground floor it opens up and you see a, a couple of people standing there they're wearing these white shirts with like this uh painted onto it it says humans first and uh they go they go there they are we found him it's like well get him get him it's like go 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 yeah yeah get, get, get back Marco. Yeah. These are those crazy assholes they were talking about. You need to get get over go, here. Go 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 I go think go. We're, yeah, we're just gonna run. Yeah. So well, they they go. Uh, Ingrid and uh, Jeremy they they start running down. Now Jeremy, you know, he's carrying like two cases of soda. Essentially, you know, he's kind of uh, struggling. He's he's in his upper forties, so you know, it's a little bit tougher for him to go with it. Um, so uh, they they come running out through the the door. And uh, they they see see Phoebe and they're like going going we we got to close the tunnel we got to close the tunnel now it's like going going. To eight. Marco's last. He's holding the camera behind him and taking pictures oh of the God. electric guys. <laughs> okay, got the door <laughs> on yeah. their side. Well, and, even if uh, Marco's last, he's right next to me as we're going. Uh, yeah, and if everybody else is ahead of us, mm -hmm. then I 
I'm going to giggle a little as we're going and say, Marcos, this is the best prank that anyone's ever pulled on us. This is fucked <laughs> up, man. Is it? This took planning, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but they get in there and they uh, Jeremy sets the the box down. He's like, like Ingrid, close it. She's like, you turned it off. I've got to get a power back up again. She's like, I told you not to turn it off. I'm the one that's supposed to turn it off. You're not closing this fucking door until our friends come through. What's wrong with you? No, no, we're closing it now. We uh, well, we, you're, we all come through. Yeah, we'll come through. <laughs> So it starts flip, flipping some, and you see the uh, one of the guys is wearing the human's first shirt. He's running down there. He's got a, uh, he gets out a large knife and he's uh, charging at you. And she, and Ingrid's uh, flipping switches. She's like going, uh, you might want to close that door. To, it'll, it might buy us a couple seconds. We'll, we'll close the door and push the <laughs> washer, uh, up against, washer up against yeah. it. So she flips a couple switches and she's like going, that should do it. And you see the door kind of uh, get kind of wavy. And then it's back to the uh, cinder blocks. Holy fuck. How did they do that? (sighs) This is some wild Harry. Yeah. Well, (laughs) it's real movie magic shit. I don't know how they're doing it. She's like going. Wow. David, you're muted. Uh, yeah. What is, how do you power that thing when you don't have power on your side? Oh, we, uh, she's like going, it's uh, several uh, D and 9 volt batteries. Oh, you know, we... So what happened to the crazy man in the tunnel when you made the tunnel cease to exist? I don't know. I, was, I wasn't sure the tunnel would uh, show up in the first place. Why were and they you, attacking you? You made this door and you chased our friend out into the dark streets of your city where there are marauding gangs. We thought we thought she was one of the the zealots. You know, she was she was she, in the house. She was clean. She didn't know where she was or why it was dark. And you, I, fifty fifty, you ate her. Ate her? No, 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 no. We're, why we're were they attacking worse. you? They were attacking us because we had we we had had this. We had batteries. We had electricity, and that that's bad according to them. They're they're so, they're, they're insane. So I'll play along. What? Tell us about this place you came from. Oh, uh, are you telling uh, us it's an alternate reality where things are fucked up? I guess that's probably the best explanation. I mean, you know, uh, like uh, we live in in Fayetteville. Like uh, that that house we were in was uh, one thirty four South Johnson Street, which is your address. That's our house, man. That's our address. That's- you mean? You mean the house next door? Uh, no, no. One one thirty four South Johnson Street. That that was uh that, that that's the house we were in. I lived um, there for a few years. So I'm going to ask a question to the GM. Uh, the little glimpse that I got into their basement mm-hmm. was it mirrored of our basement? Yep. But, you know, like when people build, uh, especially 50 years ago, you know, they were building housing things. They kind of use the same pattern, but yeah. Yeah, but it would have to be the opposite. Mm-hmm. It would be their yeah. left left wall, our right wall. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And no, no, it, it looked like it was uh exact copy. Do you guys have like ID or something? Uh, no. Wait. And you said it's 2024. Who's yeah. the president of the United States? President? <laughs> there is no government anymore. <laughs> the monsters killed it, wiped out the government. They wiped out the military when they set off the nuclear bombs to try and stop and they blacked out the sky. People are absolutely insane. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been surreptitiously so, recording them also. I've just got yeah, my phone yes. set up just for future so why, reference. Why don't you guys come upstairs and sit down and have a cup of coffee? Coffee? Hell, have a beer. Uh, uh, oh, a beer. Yeah, I haven't had a I, beer in a while. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell David, I don't think you guys should, should be giving these people beer. Alcohol might not be. <laughs> uh, beer they, is not alcohol. Beer they is... did something to Alice. You know they did. Well, I don't we'll believe the they're police. bullshit. 
Well, no, they're telling us they're from an alternate reality where there's no president of the United States. That, it's that as though, it's, thing, it's as though none thing. of you saw the cinder block wall reappear. I, I saw it. It was like magic, man. There's something to this. I, don't... I mean, go and knock on the wall if you think they're full of shit. We went down a hallway. Well, you went down a hallway. I didn't I go down the fucking saw. hallway. Look, none of us are engineering mm-hmm. students. And if the engineering students figured out a way to create some sort of cool hologram thing, the first thing they would do is prank us with it. This is not real genius, Zeph. (laughs) Wow. Something older. Then then there's alternate realities where there's monsters running the United States. And unlike what what may also occur here, but uh, (laughs) and these people were living in their basement hiding from the the humans first. Why were the humans first yeah. people after you? Yeah, uh, you're humans, right? We are. We are humans. But but instead of uh, em- embracing, you know, no power, which they think attracts the monsters, we, we wanted to uh, find a way out of there. You know, I, um, I just didn't think it was like actually going to work. When you say monsters, what sort what of monsters? Mean? Oh well, they you know, they they originally came out of the Pacific. There was a huge uh, tsunami that that hit hit the uh, West Coast, destroyed all of uh, Los Angeles, w- wiped out everyone there. And then these uh, sea creatures, bipedal sea creatures, uh, rose from there and they started killing everyone. Some of them were bigger than skyscrapers. Fucking love that movie, man! Such a good movie. Pacific Rim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, no. I, I oh, remember no. the back Come half of it anyways. Bro, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was a little silly, but yeah, it was okay. Uh, that's oh. that's how it started. But then, you know, they came, came from uh, the sky and, and everything in the, the world governments. You know, they tried to fight and they, they, they tried to, uh, but the weapons were, were useless against it. Yeah. Mm, okay. yeah, the writing on your narrative was pretty good up until this point and you start pulling in from... Yeah, giant kaijus. Um, uh, of course, yes. Well, you should know that in our world, there's no such thing as any of those things. Oh, good, and, good. That's at least good. not yet. But now you've opened up a tunnel between your shithole and this place, which I don't particularly think was the wisest thing for you to do. Although I understand that you're somewhat desperate. Do you guys want a beer or coffee or maybe a shower first? Um. Uh, a uh, coffee, coffee would would be would be very nice, very nice. And maybe a shower soon afterwards, though, because oh well, we have to. Yeah, I mean, we we need change the clothes, of course. You know. Yeah. Well, we have. Uh... I, I I remember being able to shower and having changes the mm-hmm. clothes. Hey, well, you look like that? you're about my size, and maybe Phoebe, if you have something extra that, I mean, Alice isn't going to be needing her clothes. I'm gonna whisper to Phoebe. Seriously, not David, getting it back. <laughs> I, I don't know how we're gonna go after her if she's lost in the uh, alternate. They can open that world. fucking door again, then. Yeah, uh, but we're gonna have to bring in. Okay. I don't know. She we gotta figure. Anywhere. We gotta figure out one thing first, and that is: Do they have duplicates in this world? Because. Then yeah. that means that there's two Alice's in that world now, maybe. Unless yeah. She's... Oh yeah. I don't know about duplicates, Boy. they're in a duplicate of our house. How how long oh. has it been since the monsters came out of the Pacific? Oh, it's been about uh, eighteen, maybe twenty months. You know, um, under two years. So you haven't been reduced to cannibalism yet. You've got bread and canned goods still. Mm-hmm. But the gasoline won't be usable anymore. Yeah. No. Yes. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No one drove vehicles anymore. Do the are you are you do you have a victory garden? What do you subsist on otherwise? Or are the monsters just roaming the streets? No. No. The monsters left. The monsters destroyed the government and then went back into the ocean, or did they have just fly up like on Judgment Day, or? Uh. Well, uh, we were hiding, you, you know, but we we haven't been seen in a while, and now you know the uh, the, the the zealots have t- have taken over. They're running things. They they say say that if we uh, 
apply have too much power you know as in uh, electricity and stuff that will will attract them back so everything has to be kept dark what about the rest of the world i well when you how would we know what's going on with the rest of the world we can't yeah. can't make phone calls we can't listen to the radio uh, you can make so, a transdimensional tunnel device but you can't make a ham radio is what you're saying well, right we, we had priorities trying to well, get out of how, there rather than how by what means did you make a transdimensional tunnel Oh, there was a uh, a book I I I, I was uh, reading. It had uh, some uh, strange ideas in it. You have to understand, we were working on this for uh, several months. There were many failed attempts before the world went to hell. Where you were? What were you? What were you? Oh, well. Uh, and this is Ingrid talking. She's like, well, I uh, I would work at a, uh, a Starbucks. I was a, a barista. You know, we it gave you a lot of time. You could take time off easily when uh, when Jeremy Jeremy was a was an engineer. Okay. Well, Jeremy was an engineer, mm -hmm. electrical engineer. He, he's the one that helped wire this. Okay. I got I was two questions. Say if you were a gas station attendant, then how would you build that? <laughs> two questions for you then. How many okay. monsters did you kill? Uh, not none. none. And how many people have you killed? None. Okay, they seem okay. Yeah. Let's I... um. Yeah. No. 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 We we're not part of the humans first. Nuts. They're the ones that kill people. They, they kill people that don't agree with them. Yeah, well, let's all go upstairs and have some coffee, and then oh, you're yeah. going to explain how it is that in, that Alice unlocked your cellar door, even though you keep a latch on it, well, and we, we were still so surprised oh, that you I chased her out of the house. You do that with a key, you could reach in and flip the latch through the crack. Well, I don't think that if they summoned it into their uh, basement with dark magic, they kept a latch on it. <laughs> Well, it was latched when Zeph got to it. No. Did you uh, ever go through the tunnel to our world? No. You were afraid to? Yeah. So you summoned it, but then you were afraid to go through it. Yeah, we weren't sure, like, you know, it was going to stable and people could actually travel through it. And we didn't realize that your friend came through we just thought she broke in were you able to pick our world or was it just the first link you found um i assume the first link wait i didn't like pick your your world or whatever i mean you know i'm i'm yeah, gonna look at their machine but okay obviously i don't have that kind of background so i don't know what the hell we need to get like Alex from the engineering department over here to take a look at this thing. See if it really is a thing or if it's just a shoebox with LEDs. Mm. Oh well. Uh, but it's kind of said, late, isn't it? It's what it's about nine thirty. Yeah, hey, you said coffee? Yeah, well. I'm going to call the cops <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and tell them to come and pick these people yeah. up. I, I will try to cover for him if he needs, like well, as I'm gonna I'm gonna whisper to Zephyrin, I think he's got a gun in his pants, so you stay behind when we go upstairs and maybe try to grab it so he doesn't take us all hostage. Okay. And I'll be like, Yeah, I uh, do uh We've got a couple of kinds of coffee. I've got a. I, I use a French press, but we've also got a regular drip thing. Oh, um, any any kind 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 is fine. Thank you. Uh, follow so me. If they get in front of me, I'm mm -hmm. going to come right up behind mm -hmm. Jeremy, and I'll look. I'll even sort of reach forward and and sort of just brush. Mm -hmm. the back of his to see if there's a gun in his pants uh you don't even have to look he's got a knife sticking in the back of his pants okay um 
I'm I'm just going to grab a hold of it, pull it out, and mm-hmm. say, "I'll take this for now." Because oh, uh, sorry, you, you could be a the, psychopath. The, the, yeah, I, I understand. This world's safe, right? There's not going to be people breaking in because we we need that to defend ourselves from the zealots. Yeah, there's no zealots here. Well, there's okay. Okay. This would Christian be a good fundamentalists, time. but yeah. this would be a good time if you have any other weapons to mention them now. Yeah. No. Now, when we get upstairs, I'm I'm debating in my head whether I'm going to say, "Look, we have we need to call the authorities," but they're not like the authorities in your world. Mm-hmm. They're 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 going to ask you questions, but. We just want to make sure you're not crazy nut jobs. No, 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 we're we're not. I mean, okay. You know, well, then you have nothing like, to worry about. Let's make you some coffee and get some biscuits and okay, not biscuits. Am I British now? Um, <laughs> uh, cookies, some, some oh, cookies or biscuits were good too. I mean, we you know cooked in the oven. <laughs> How do you take your coffee? Um. You know, I haven't had it uh, not black in so long that I, I just a little bit of cream. I, I just like to taste that again. Mm. Mm. Well, Marco finished the milk earlier, but we might have some half and half of it pushing around and then I'll sniff it. College things. And when you kind of like open up the fridge, you can kind of see and staring at like all the food in there and mm-hmm. you can see like their eyes kind of get wide and like excitement okay okay let's not get carried away but it's there's plenty of cookies for everyone yeah yeah you guys uh i'll make sandwiches if you want you have you should wash up though before you touch anything oh okay Okay. yeah i'm Uh, going outside to look for alice i'm convinced okay she is somewhere outside and she's just been scared by some wackadoos and if if the gm doesn't object i think i might call one of our physics professors okay and just ask him if he would like to come over we've got some really weird thing going on all right uh give me a uh a charm for that one to okay. convince your sure. professor to come over at 9 30 at night <laughs> well and he's not even my professor because uh. I oh I got twenty seven out of twenty. Should I spend? Well, I'll spend the luck. Okay, I got I've got a lot of luck. All right, yeah. Uh, Phoebe, when you go outside and look around, um, you know it's um, nine o'clock in, in September in Arkansas, so you know there's like just a little bit of uh, light as the sun is setting, uh, but you know. You don't see Alice, obviously. You don't see Alice anywhere when you first kind of go out there and look around. Her car is still there, though. All right, I'll go back inside. Mm-hmm. Nicholas, are you uh, got to call your aunt tonight? Yes, I was planning on doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I re- remember you saying it was birthday or in the family or something. I got to oh. order a, a pizza. <laughs> oh, you guys are getting a pizza? Yeah, like, let me just oh. step out for a second. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I, I I like pepperoni. So oh. it sounds it sounds to me like your world and our world diverged at some point, but pretty much you had everything that we had. You had gasoline powered cars. Yeah. You had trains and airplanes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You there was the United States of America. Yeah, yeah. And uh when the monsters rose pre- it was President Biden. But he was the uh president. Okay, he's our current president here. Oh, okay. Uh, did you have a Donald Trump in your world? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all dead. They're all dead. (laughs) How do you open up that gate again? (laughs) (laughs) There's some upsides. Go ahead. 
I was just going to say, I'm going to ask him a whole bunch of questions. I want to see if their world was mm-hmm. any way different than uh, up to uh, eight, 18, 20 months ago. The world was exactly the same. If you started asking about stuff in early 2024, that's when they're like, they're like, I don't know what you're talking. No, no, that that's when the monsters were there and stuff. They set off, we, they they set off the nu- the nukes in uh, February. You know, so there were Marco's easily Marco's easily matching them cookie for cookie. Okay, all right. Uh, and Nicholas, you uh, called the uh, cops, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say. We found some crazy people living in our basement. Okay. And David, you were going to ask are, a question. Are you in danger? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get a black. Need, we we'll need get mental black. health people. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll get a black and white out there immediately. Mental health, right? We'll put it in jail. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I've just you know making them Dagwood sandwiches and you know oh, pushing yeah. coffee toward them and. Sort of uh, just pick, pick, try to fill out this world there, describe it. The, the monsters were aquatic and they came in many sizes, but they were bipedal and they were indestructible or they were just too numerous to be killed or. Uh, the, the, the smaller ones, they're, they're, they were numerous. The, the larger ones, uh, nothing, nothing that, that humanity had could stop it. And you said they left? How did they leave? I, I don't know. You. Uh... When you're in a survival situation, you don't go out and watch the things that are killing killing others. Right. How did the uh, did they communicate in any way? The big ones, the small ones. Do they seem to have any technology, or are they just ah, blah, 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 blah. just blah, 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 blah. Huh. It, it sounds like some sort of Lovecraftian nightmare. Yeah, all right. the deep the deep ones rise from the sea and great oh. Cthulhu and all of that sort of stuff. Oh, is he that hokey writer from a hundred years ago? <laughs> yeah, oh. I mean, he's very popular. His work is very popular in all. Oh, huh. Yeah, I, I remember hearing of him, but huh. so how do you think we can get our friend back? She... Uh, I I don't know. I mean, you know, like if she's over there, she's in trouble. You seem strangely unburdened by your responsibility for that trouble. Well, you know, when you've seen hundreds of people die, one one more soul doesn't really bother you. You become a little desensitized to it. I've seen uh, entire cities uh, destroyed in a in an hour. Well, why don't you open that door so that we can go get our friend back? Well, those guys might be right on the other side. Yeah, I'm not sure but, how I feel about that. You guys have uh, guns, right? If you have guns, you can well, deal with we, those guys. We don't, but yeah, what? it sounds like we should get the military involved. Yeah, who's going to believe us, Seth? Well, when you open what? up the magic door and they go through, they'll. I, I'm not them. entirely not entirely certain that we want actually to uh, tell the public at large or the authorities that well, we I've, have a gateway to another planet. I've got for all, know, Hewitt. for all we know, these are the events that lead to this happening. Maybe is someone fucking, in their world is there a fucking gas leak in here or something? Like, why are you no. guys all entertaining this? Because, because a, I saw the door disappear in front of my eyes and turn into a wall again. And it couldn't fit Didn't there anyway. Your senses? The hallway no. couldn't fit in that space. It, it could the we'd be in the Jones's basement if we were really in that hallway in that space. We'd have our yes. heads going through the soil between our house and the joint and Jones's house. You it's see kind of the uh, lights from the the police car. It it, it pulls up. If, and, uh, if it's an elaborate prank, Nick, it's a really good one. Where's Alice then? Okay. Oh, she probably did the prank. Well, he she's, was not a pranker. If, if we're going to buy into the narrative, then she is in the other universe, and we're going to have to launch a, a rescue party. 
Man, last semester I did some time out in the woods with our class. I got some gear we could take with us. Yeah, but don't you want about 50 policemen with us or 50, you know, what Man, we call that's them? the kind of thing that makes us get too big, and then we got real problem. We got to be yeah. sneaky. We got to slip in, slip out before any of them notice us. Yeah. Hear the cop knocking at the door. I'll go good. get they're, it. They're really good at de-escalating things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I'm going to go downstairs and, and take careful photographs of their device from all angles and things. Okay. Professor Hewitt should be here in 20 minutes all right. to take a look at it. Well, the police officer comes in. Um, hey. It's, it's off, Officer Sedlicek, and he's like going, um, I had a phone call about some yeah. strange people. I'm assuming the unwashed masses over there. Yeah, and um, we have reason to believe that they might just be a little touched in the head. They're really afraid of authority. We told them that you guys would be gentle and that you'd ask them questions. And But, yeah, they were, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you. We found them in our basement. Oh, they, in your base. They, oh. they think they're from another planet or another yeah, we don't, universe. We don't want to press charges or anything. Like, yeah. Don't. Oh, I think okay. they're just homeless, but. They act like they haven't eaten in weeks, and uh, we don't know how they got in. There doesn't oh. seem to be any way they broke in. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he goes. He goes over. He starts asking in question. They they identify themselves as Ingrid and Jeremy Collis. Um, you know, we live at one thirty four. Uh, they give this address. Yeah, oh. In the basement. Yeah, Their apartment to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, we 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 don't have have any ID. We, uh, you know, that was lost uh, months ago. Can I find any trace of an Ingrid Collis on social media? Looking on my phone, just uh, give me a library use. Okay, I want to see if like I am buying into this, mm -hmm. surprisingly, and I failed. Okay. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay. Nothing I can see because, yeah, yeah, like it'd be crazy if they like killed their twins in this world and took over their lives. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. Oh. I'm also going to tell the cops, and they can't stay here. Oh. Okay. okay. Um, Where we're like, go, 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 Do you guys have? He's like, I. You guys have some ID, so we can. Are you supposed to be here? You know, you got people oh. saying they're supposed to live here. You uh, say you're supposed to live here. You know. Yeah. 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 We'll show them who we are. Okay. Kind of looks at it. He's like, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, he's like going, well, Ingrid and Jeremy, uh, they've got ID saying they live here. You don't. And I tend to believe them. Uh, you're going to have to. Uh, Come with me. We've got a nice uh, shelter here to help you out. Uh, the Waltons, uh, they uh, donated it for a tax write-off. So, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll you'll well, be okay. It's not like in your uh, world. <laughs> well, thank you for the, uh, the sandwiches. They were uh, very good. And the coffee. And the yeah. cookies. And the cookies. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, Anything thing else you gave us. <laughs> so uh they they take them the officer takes the, them with them. They uh, they go willingly. If, uh, if, if um there's an officer still behind? around. They did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys think we should mention our missing persons? Oh yeah. I can't believe <laughs> we didn't do that. I mean Okay. Um he goes, uh, uh, how long How long has she been gone? About a day, we think, but... Um, about a day, like, okay. It just was really weird that it happened at the same time as we found these guys. Okay. Yeah, we think um, they have something to do with it. They, well, okay. they even said they because, saw her. Well, she she put her... She put her laundry in, the, in the, the washing machine and then disappeared right after that. So... She put her laundry in washing machine and then in disappeared. Her, in her basement. Yeah. Got, in our basement. got it. Um, have you guys been uh, 
smoking anything tonight? No. Well, totally, maybe a little, but <laughs> totally not. No, her stuff is still in the laundry. Oh yeah, right. Her stuff's still in the laundry, and we should uh, maybe call the cops and and look for her, who you know didn't finish her laundry. The crazy people who were living in our basement said they saw her, and they've been very cagey about what has happened to her. Well, they saw I mean, her in the basement. I think they did something to her. Well, I, I can go look in the basement. You know. Well, no, she's not in the basement. We've been down there. It's just okay. our friend. You know. Okay, she's only missing a few hours. Hours, mm -hmm. but everything. Uh, her cars in the garage. She was apparently here. If you want to file, come down to the station, file missing persons report. Uh, you're you're more than welcome. All right, all right. Thank you, Look, thank you, officer. I'm, I'm going to take the uh, the 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 couple away. They seem very nice. All right, yeah. they they do seem fairly nice. Um, and actually, uh, Zephyrin, do you want to show the officer the knife? They might want to. Oh I don't know. yeah, the guy was armed with this, and I'll hand him the knife. And our friend. Okay whom they have said that they saw is now missing and they uh, had this knife. I I understand. I understand. Is, but you know, we we're taking them down to, down to the station. We're asking yeah. about your friend, but you know, like, would you send a detective or somebody maybe in the no, morning for us to talk to? I'll, I'll, I'll run it by my, my uh, desk sergeant and he'll, right. he'll make the call. Officer of the facility you're taking them to, is there we we want me to check in with them. Is do you, is there was there a general phone number for that facility that we could call? Or do you think do you sure. know where they're Police gonna be housed? Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, they they give you a number. Because yeah. we might need Ingrid's help. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um you guys have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. If, if this is some sort of wild prank, it's the best I've ever seen. I know yeah, Marco's yeah. fucked up, Zeph, but you usually have a, a little bit more of a grounded sort of sense of things. I don't understand what it is about there being a tunnel under the ground that you traveled through that doesn't exist anymore that makes you think that this is something that undergraduates can do. Because I believe in science more than I believe in magic. And do you believe they, you went down a brick tunnel? Oh yeah. But I so think you have, that's... you have observed scientifically okay. that there is a tunnel a in the cellar. You guys, every minute Alice is in more danger. We gotta, Thank we gotta you. act. Well, yes, yeah, but, but what are we gonna do? Because our genius psychology student decided to get the law involved. The person who knows how the machine works is now in custody. Man, she could well, kill her anyway, though. The oh, physics what? professor will be here shortly. We didn't even get the name of the magical book that Jeremy read. Magical. You'd think they'd want to bring it with them. Why is it you think yeah. I'm not grounded? When you keep talking about magical books, <laughs> because you went down the hallway, <laughs> it, that there's nothing. Go and dig okay. uh, behind. You know what? Look in Let's, the lawn I behind the I washing would, machine. I would be more brick. inclined to believe it was a magical teleporter that was invented by a scientist than than some magic well, from an old then, book. Then go with that. He because... didn't say what kind of book it was, and obviously, if it runs on D batteries, that it wasn't. You know. The Dead Sea Scrolls. If there but is any reasoning to make this a thing, then if we, if we take any of this as true, then what they said is that place they came from was dangerous. And Alice doesn't know what we know. No, it, I, frankly, if the world is anything like they describe, I would be surprised if Alice survived the first four hours. But regardless, we all have to go to the Walmart tomorrow and buy firearms and then see if we can get that machine to open the tunnel again so we can go and try to bring Alice back because frankly I feel very responsible. I wow. mean if if somebody said to you that Alice went down into the sewer and that she was lost in the sewer 
why would you assume that we would go down there to find her and not alert the authorities and have them go down there and try to Because the authorities her? obviously don't give a shit. And none of you people know how to talk to authorities to make them feel like it's an urgent situation in the first place. Let's let, wait. Let, let's go. Let's turn the machine back on. Let's go back into wait, the basement. Well, let's not Look, touch any machines. I, I've taken a lot of pictures of the, the device. And I'm looking through to see if there's anything that they are, are the photographs. Is, is the machine labeled in any way? Uh, it is not. Yeah. It's got, it's, it's got a light bulb that it's got yeah. some it's corroded got, it, batteries. Yeah. It's got yeah, I mean, switches. There's a switch. You saw, you saw Jeremy turn it on and turn it off. So you, you know how to turn it on and turn it off. But Alice was doing a bunch of tweaking, wasn't she? To, to make it work properly. Yes. So we oh, need yeah. the physicist. The physicist will be here and he'll in about ten minutes. Why the hell would a look at know it. how to operate this device made by two crackheads? Uh, how would we? <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. So they were brilliant crackheads. I don't know. I mean, he's he said that he was an electrical engineer, and uh, they had a book that he take their word for it. Poured I over. I, How to I repair really, anything in your house? One, two, three. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that makes sense is that their condition of desperation was sufficient to generate unusual ingenuity. No, David, That's, the only thing that makes sense is that these people were from another dimension and they put a portal through into our house. Where do you think Alice is? Not Wonderland. What's, what's your She's not outside. I went and looked for her. Where was Alice's sock that Marco picked up? It was in the in middle the, of the hallway. The hallway. Let's go. Let's go find it then. Oh, you well, can't because it, it doesn't exist anymore. Well, so, this, I threw the sock on the pile of laundry. I'll okay, well, uh, it's if not if the it, sock it, that I'm concerned about. It's the hallway. <laughs> if it's some sort of teleportation or folding space device, okay, then what's not to? If we open up that door. Then what if all of those crazy nut jobs with with knives are on the other side of that well, door? This is why we have to arm ourselves before we try to turn the machine on again. But honestly, I don't know how we would even steer it to the same plane of existence that they came from. It might. Know. On the other hand, maybe you know we'll find ourselves in a pocket dimension, well armed, where we can. Take advantage of a situation that we don't know about. Who can say? Worst case, possible. We, worst case possible, we find ourselves somewhere else altogether in another dimension. In uh, which case, again, I want to be heavily armed. Yeah, you know, we can the, rule the world. The, the scary thing is, something you guys said earlier, is that if those two individuals are from that universe... And now they're in our universe. I'm telling you, man. Does it cause some kind of Ripple. Uh, pay paradox or something that brings part of their world into our world? And because part of our world is now in their world, Alice. Oh, that would be cool. So you think like what? them infecting us would be like a monster? It would summon the monsters? What if that's how it travels from universe to universe? What if they're the monsters? Yeah, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. And that's why the Earth Firsters or whatever they were are. Anyway, I'm going to go have a yeah. look at that machine, but yeah. I'm not turning it on until okay. Professor Hewitt gets here. Yeah. Look, don't touch, for God's okay. sakes. All right. Um, so you go down and you look at, at the machine. Yeah, like I said, it's about the size of two cases of soda stacked on top of each other. Um, there is a uh, bulb on top. There's some wires, uh, tubes, and valves. Uh, you kind of look through, you know, the, there's little vents and stuff on the side and, and everything. But, yeah. Crystals of something and weird. Sure, there's um, a crystal crystal in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I see it in my head. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Uh, yeah. It, it has the right resonance for the frequency they need. 
And they they all look There's, like parts that you could get at Radio Shack, or well, you can't now because it doesn't yeah. exist. <laughs> There's mm. more actual you could have technology but... in our TV remote than in this thing. This thing doesn't even look real. Well, there's sometimes there's something to be said for the older technology. Uh, he couldn't exactly construct a microchip, you know. Yeah. Got to do it the old-fashioned way with yeah. electronics and circuits stuff. I don't know what this thing is, but... Um, yeah. So what, you think they turned it on and just left it on and the door was like... By the time Phoebe found it, it was just there and we didn't see it just suddenly come to it was there like it was waiting for us so I mean, for all we know is they had that portal open all night what what does make sense is if if you're phoebe and not phoebe uh Ingrid. if you're if you're uh, no if you're um the calluses and you've constructed this machine to escape from your horrible universe into somebody else's why didn't they just come through because Alice obviously had the time to find it, to move the the thing and sense. then go through the door. And I'd like to say Alice hasn't been in there very long. Her laundry was still going. As long as the spin cycle, an hour. So do you think the door maybe appeared no, while she was standing there? It wasn't still going. It was it stopped. It spun yeah. out. Oh, I What's thought you the... said that when David had opened it, it was still kind of doing its thing. That was oh, loaded, yeah. but it was done. Marco, was the sock you picked up wet or dry? It was dry, I believe. Correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's likely that what she did was toss her her laundry into the washing machine, and she didn't realize that the sock had maybe fallen and was snagged on her foot, or and then it just something. it it fell yeah, or on her pocket, and then it fell off halfway down the. The passageway yeah. or alice was doing her laundry and ingrid turned on the machine and jeremy came down the hallway and opened the door in the wall and pushed it open so that the washing machine was moved out of the way and grabbed alice and dragged her down the hallway into their hell hole that's the thing because if it's like they said then the moment she runs well why wouldn't she run right back down the hall if the closest place to being safe is our place, it does, yeah, they they had to have physically stopped her from returning. There's something that we're missing. The, the doorbell rings. Oh, I'm going to go get it. That's probably yeah. Professor Hewitt. Yep. So and it is. And, ah, and Professor the, Hewitt, thank you so much for coming. Dalvin, how's it going? Uh, pretty good. We have the weirdest story. And this, I swear to God, this is not a prank. The police were just here. Uh, they just left. Come on inside. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> our friend Alice is missing. Okay. And in the process of looking for her, we went down into the basement and mm -hmm. there was a door in the wall of the basement that was never there before. Okay. And when we looked at the the configuration of the door and everything, and we opened it, there was a passageway made out of brick. And when we looked out the window, we could see that the passage was actually higher than it's like a Doctor Who thing. It was bigger on the inside than it could have been. We went down there, we opened the door. Apparently, this is going to sound so nuts, to another universe that's Donna? all fucked okay. up. Mm -hmm. And these two people were there. We we rescued them. They told us all the differences. The police just hauled them away. But they left their machine downstairs. And when the guy flipped the switch on the machine, the door disappeared. Now, okay. you don't have to believe me. Good. But come downstairs and look at this fucking machine. All right. All right. Dalvin, I have a, a lot of papers to grade in the morning. So I'm going to go down to this basement. And there's not a door there. Now, uh, well, there's, there's not, not a door, door there. But there's the uh, machine there. 
and we're afraid to touch it because we don't want to open up a door into another universe and have they said giant monsters had destroyed their world. Let's let's not make it any worse than it is. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I figure if I just tell you what we know, we th I think somebody's playing a prank on us, but what we saw can't be explained by the physics that we understand. Uh, and Maybe. for what it's worth, Professor Hewa, all five of us saw the door. Mm -hmm. We saw the people who came through the door, and we saw the door turn return to its state as cinder block and those people are now at the police department no they're they're not here okay we could even just flip the switch and flip it back real quick and you see it, and then it disappears I all right know. so here it is mm -hmm. and so is there any rem remote way theoretically that a device like this could precipitate a connection between one space and another um rosen einstein bridge yeah he gives you like some physics answer that i don't know myself <laughs> <laughs> and he goes but uh that is all an un, uh just theory and uh i doubt it would use vacuum tubes <laughs> well they don't have circuitry so in their mm -hmm. universe I'm going to flip it on. Yeah, we need a demonstration. Okay. Get ready to flip it off, though. If I saw the flip it through. off, so I figure if I just flip it on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, it turns on the the little ball, but it's kind of like, you know, faintly comes on, and uh -huh. it's like going, uh, let there be light. Yep. You've <laughs> you gotta, uh, maybe got to aim it at the door. I'll probably moving it around okay. or uh you can give me an electrical or mechanical <laughs> repair not a clue let's see electrical got a 10 mechanical repair got a 10. <laughs> all right at least it's not a combined roll <laughs> oh, i got a 14. i will spend Ooh. the four four points of luck okay um get it going and um just like before you get a little wait well you didn't see it before but you get a little waviness and then the door shows up and the professor kind of steps back and he's like uh in the same spot yeah. on the wall yep okay. oh, uh... we no 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 we don't know who's behind there turn it off we've oh. proven Proof of concept. Well, There's, there were people on the other side that would be that are that were there were, of. but they haven't come through yet. So it's like the a... purge. But let him at least touch the door and see that yeah. it's real. He goes up yeah. to it. He touches it, and he turns the knob and he opens it, and you see the tunnel. That's quick. Is it's it empty? Like, and look, look over here. Look out the window. See, it's it's actually the roof in the tunnel is higher than the ground outside. He kind of looks. He's like, uh, "Okay, you're I'm thinking, speechless. you're thinking that we're playing some elaborate prank on us. We no, we thought the same thing, but they okay. said that world over there is really dangerous, and that's why we should just be quiet for a second and just listen and see if we can hear anything. See if, like in that movie, The Purge, there's people that are trying to kill." Oh, I don't. I don't watch those kind of movies. Like Oppenheimer's, uh, all I watch. <laughs> oh, How did uh, that end, by the way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Uh, this is going to redefine all all you know previous theories. He's like going. Oh, but huh. our friend Alice is on the other side, and we don't know what to do. Because people do know we what think to do. that's an evil world over there. The okay. people who came through this tunnel were extremely desperate, a little bit suspicious, and they were being chased by some other people whom they call the Zealots. Apparently, civilization broke down 18 months ago. Huh. Uh, so. You, you mind if I go 
look through that other door? By all means. Marco, well, get your camera be, ready. Be, yeah, be careful. Be, You're, yeah, be yeah. ready to run. We got yeah. chased yeah. down at the last time we... I'm going to hand him the oh. Matic that I had before. Okay. We were okay. we were going to get weapons, maybe. And, and I took just pictures to of the things. assholes who followed us. Here, look at this. See these guys oh. in these shirts? Hmm. Why didn't we show those to the cops? Well, they wouldn't have believed me. Obviously, I'm not sure if that would have helped or not. But the yeah. problem is, college kids play pranks all the time, and everybody thinks that everything that we do is a prank. Yeah, but what if one of the guys on the Humans First shirt looked just like Officer Sedlicek? <laughs> oh, uh, he goes down, he opens up the door, and he's like, there's another basement in here. Identical to ours, but much dirtier it, it it is do you hear any noises from the upstairs come back immediately i don't yeah, it's it's really not safe there professor would you would you mind coming back will we can return at a later date like i just i'm you got a tape measure i just want to make some measurements here and could i yeah, I'll, could i go through as well i'm going to go yep. through as well mm-hmm I'll, okay. I'll take him the tape measure. Okay. And when we get over there, I want to look around the basement for a bu the book. Ooh. Okay. PB, oh. you and I are going to stand uh, here, and the first time we hear a book the machine. on the screen, yes. we're going to turn the machine off yes. and fuck these guys. <laughs> I want to go upstairs as well. I want to I want to go see what's upstairs. Okay. Well, what oh, if it's gosh. those guys having guys. coffee in the kitchen? We're not we're not ready. We need gear and stuff before we. I don't have coffee. Dude, at least take this old flashlight, you know, because you can have your phone separately. And like, just take a shovel, just like you guys. On. David, this is why you always freak out whenever we take shrooms. You didn't hear that, <laughs> Professor. You didn't hear that. I only like, microdose uh, anyway. I was oh. once a, co a college student, and I still live yeah. in a college town. <laughs> I also, have my, my GPA is rather better than yours, Mike. <laughs> uh, oh, our phone GPA doesn't work in the tunnel. We didn't tell you that, but when we were down oh. the tunnel before, yeah. got mm. no signal, no Wi-Fi. You're underground. Mm. No, because there's no there's no Wi-Fi in their world anymore. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you're right. Mine's mine's dead too. He's like going, huh? Well, um, Mr. Thornton, you want to? Take yeah. a quick peek upstairs. What's upstairs? Okay. Um, you go up the steps. You uh, get to the door. You don't hear anything. You open it up. It opens up into the kitchen, just like your house does. Now that is interesting. Mm -hmm. Copy. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like, just going to go through and go outside. Is it okay. nighttime there? Uh, it is nighttime. When you go outside, uh, you see a uh, cell phone s sitting on the, uh, like, right at the edge of the steps. Like, it got kicked off of the steps. And you recognize it as Alice's cell phone. Oh, yeah. She has that really weird baby attached to the back of her phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? No, no but in but the alternate weird. universe, that's horrific. Yeah. <laughs> People have these creepy ass babies they put on the back of their phone. I don't no, know. You like, can look it up. It's like the phone case. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it. Wow. That is that's freaking it. Isn't that super oh my God. creepy. <laughs> that's Alice. Delightfully creepy. She should have stuck with the Sailor Moon theme. Oh, mm. Alice. <laughs> I'm going to run back upstairs in our house and okay. start going through some of my outdoor gear. I think I still have a hatchet and a few other things, and maybe I'll grab our uh, knives from our butcher's block. That'd be no problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can get a hatchet and knives without any issue at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marco, as he passes back with his with his pit, mm -hmm. yeah. his arms, like, oh, remember that... Remember that they don't like electricity over there. So you are going to be a big target. So tell everyone to get fucking back here before you all get murdered. Because 
honestly, the first time somebody with an ax comes running down this hallway, I'm going to close the door to our universe. The, I want to be very clear that we're not letting the zealots into our cellar. We got to go get her, man. But I do think we got to be ready and prepared for it. I didn't realize we'd be... We need daylight and guns and maybe humans first t-shirts. Yeah. Okay, let me get them. So tell everyone to get the fuck out of there before you all get murdered. We can get Tom is, over in the, the, is, the graphic arts department to make us... So is anyone really dependent on the professor for a grade? Uh, Never mind. No, but he's a nice guy. We don't want to yeah. sacrifice the professor. <laughs> he's down there like taking notes and, and stuff. You know, he's, he's okay. I'm going to look around. Do I find the book? Uh, in the basement? You do not. No. Show's over. Everyone back to our universe. We gotta, we gotta plan this out. We know it's possible to get back now, and we will return to this place. Well, Nick went outside. Yeah, I, I went what? outside. Okay. Okay. You two get. Is see if you can Armageddon? drag the professor All back. All right. All right. So, so Nick, when besides just the cell phone, uh, everything is dark except for like you know you've got the moon and stuff kind of providing light, but obviously there's no street lights. Uh, you see uh, some uh, places there's uh, you know smoke. You think there's smoke coming coming out, and every once in a while you hear uh, some people yelling and uh, you know in anger and all. But it's it's far enough away that you can't understand it. It's just kind of like that that din of noise going on. Rippy man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Nicholas? I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna walk down the street. <laughs> okay. I, I, have, I have forensics. Do I see any signs of where Alice might have gone? Oh, I got tracking, man. Uh, that would be more of a track, really. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nick, come back to the house, man. We gotta go. Is it? Uh, um, David's ready to fucking throw the switch and leave you here, man. We gotta get prepared for this. We'll find her. Yeah. And uh, did you want to make a track there, uh, Nicholas? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Give me a track roll. <laughs> Nick has a problem in his psychology where he does exactly the opposite of what we suggest. Uh, 51. So fail. I, I okay. don't have okay. any track. Okay. No. Let's see. Look, you got to do it like this. And I will roll track to see. You can see the lead there in the way that is. So. Okay. I got a 12, which yeah, right. just happens to be an extreme success. All right. Uh, yes, you see it. Uh, you see, you're able to kind of see the tracks yeah. in the, uh, in the um, ground, uh, the soft, soft ground. And you kind of see it goes, it goes down. And if you follow it a little bit, you kind of like Aragorn and you uh, find this spot where there was obviously a scuffle. So, oh shit. Okay. So there's a bigger group here. She was going that way. Okay, mm -hmm. we we got to go back to the others, man. Damn, that's pretty fucking impressive. I can't believe you were able to do that. They pretty much drive us out into the middle of nowhere and leave us there for three weeks. And, and <laughs> well, okay, if there was a scuffle, then well, is it time of the, the essence? It is, but we don't have all of us. And like I said, David's gonna throw that switch if if anything comes back and. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, who? Which one of you have the worst luck? Forty. Uh, thirty. Ooh. Okay. Give Give me a luck roll. Oh. Sixty-two. Okay. Uh, as you're kind of, oh, you you kind of hear this. Uh, talking is getting louder. And uh, just a block away, you see uh, a group of people. They've got torches. They're carrying, like, axe handles. And they're wearing white T-shirts that say humans first. And they're uh, kind of, uh, you know, that pretty soon they're going to be turning down down the street uh, headed toward where you're at. Now, they're not, like, you know, running after you, but. They will be. Can we sneak back to the house? Oh, uh, that would be a stealth. Yeah, okay, we gotta go right now. I mean, 
got to run. Hard success. With a, I got a 92, but I don't even think I would be sneaking anyway because I'm just I'm just thinking I'm tripping major balls. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be like, uh, hey. Yeah. I w- <laughs> when you do that, you hear one of them goes, goes – there's one of them. There, there's one of them. He's not. He's not one of the humans first. Get him! And they start running down. They got like uh, trash cans are beating the axe handle. Uh, trash can lids are beating the axe handles against, and they're uh, they're running toward you. Whoa, man! You these people have to chill out. Okay, <laughs> okay Nicholas, uh, get to the passage. I uh. <clears throat> oh my God! I I. I'm running ahead, I guess. Okay. Uh, what's uh, the other three doing? Uh, Zephyrin, Phoebe, and David. I know Phoebe and David are kind of down there in the your your basement. I was about to say, I the... imagine we don't really know what the situation yeah. is. Okay. So. So. I, I'm with the professor, so okay. yep. I'm sort of looking around. <laughs> <for the book. laughs> you guys are still here. Get it through. They're coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're you're with the professor. He's still like making some measurements, and you see the uh, Marco come running in and goes, hero. "Ah, <laughs> yeah, we gotta go." I grab the professor and pull him down the the tunnel. Okay, all right. Where's okay. Nick? He's up there. I told him to run, but I think they saw him. Nicholas, get down here. So uh, <laughs> Nicholas, they they come up and. Um, you know, when they get to you, you're horribly outnumbered, of course. And they uh, they kind of look at you and they go, whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? Dude, I'm on the side of peace, justice, the American way. America, America doesn't exist anymore. It's the humanity and it's the others. Well, I'm obviously on the side of humanity. Because, uh, because do you have any electricity? Hell no, man. That stuff is like not from the earth. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, either a fast talk or a persuade. All right. Uh, what is my persuade? Maybe you have enough knowledge of them to manipulate them. Dude, I, my persuade is terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, worst psychologist ever. Um... Oh, no. 56. Okay. They uh, kind of uh, look at you and they're like going, they're going we're going to take you, take you to town hall and we can, vig- we'll, we'll let, we'll let, let the town hall decide, decide whether you're one of us or not. It's like, you coming peacefully? Um, well, sure. <laughs> mm. Maybe you'll see her there. Okay. He's like, well, start walking. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll come back to the other uh, four and the professor. And um, they're. Where's I'm Nick? Falling. Where's Nick? I couldn't get him to come. I kept. I begged him to follow me, and he found. Jesus. We found her track, but. The, we had a gang of those zealots came and uh, I think they saw him. I, he didn't even try to hide. I think David's right. I think we need to get us some humans first shirts and arm ourselves and go back out there. We got two people to rescue now. Couldn't, couldn't, we found her phone, but no sign of her, but, but we saw tracks. So she was there. I think, I think the same people who got Nicholas might've got Alice. So there might yeah. be some useful information on her phone. On her phone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I actually don't have it. Nicholas was holding it. So he's got two phones on him. They'll love that. that. Work. (laughs) Well, they don't work, but she might have taken footage before she got grabbed. Video. Let's hope she has no alarm set, or he'll be in the middle of his trial and it'll suddenly start (laughs) buzzing or ringing or something. Is there any place? This is Arkansas. Is there no place open this late to sell? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's Walmart's open. Okay, we're going. They, they, so, they sell but all the guns. We can get guns, but we need daylight. Oh, darkness might be our friend. As in about this one. The, is does that place get daylight? Really? Don't yeah. know. I feel I like time is uh, time is against us here, David. 
Did you see the moon, Marco? It should be about half moon because the, there was that miniature eclipse. Was that a week ago, two weeks ago? I didn't specifically want it, but there was enough light that I could kind of see tracks and make out her path. So if there's some moonlight getting through the haze, then there'll be sunlight. And if there's sunlight, then we don't need to carry lights of our own, which will make us targets for every maniac. I just and feel like time is really important here. That's the only thing. If we wait 12 hours, they're probably going to be dead. Alice has probably been there for 12 hours. Well, then we at least owe it to Nick, right? Is there, oh, is there a chance with, Nick. with the camping gear, I might have like a some kind of Coleman lamp or something like that? That hey, That's reasonable with camping yeah, gear. Lantern. Yeah. Some kind of lantern, I ideally non electrical, but you said they had you said they had torches. Yep. Yeah. Well how we can always is, how long does kerosene keep? I wonder if Coleman lamp would be a giveaway or paraffin or some of I those. I thought things they didn't want any light at all because no, it they attracts just don't want the electricity. Things. No, well, electricity I attracts the power. The I think it's the power grid or okay. the internet or who knows what they think. Humans first as opposed to the monsters are gone, the monsters, I guess. So, what's the other option? Are there robots that we didn't hear about? No, I mean, they, from their chants and stuff that I could hear, it simply means that it's a us or them type thing. And if you're not like part of their, if you're not humans first, then you must be risking everybody to bring back the monsters. I don't think it's a separate group that is pro monster or anything like that. I think that's just the way they're. We need. In, we need white t-shirts and we need magic marker. I think we have all of that. I would be yeah. shocked if we didn't all have white t-shirts at least. Yeah. And magic it, marker. It'd have it at Walmart. You buy six white yeah. t-shirts in a, in a pack. <laughs> all right. I am <laughs> professor. What do you think now? Uh, he's like, on um, I, uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, Mr. Dolbin. I didn't believe you at first. I uh, thought this we was a bad, you. bad prank. But um, by the measurements and the eyes see it. He's like going. To, it's going to. He's like going. To, I mean, this could be a Nobel Prize. <laughs> well, if you can figure the damn thing out. But for now, we've got to rescue our friends. Yeah. Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but you've got to stay here. I mean, Okay. Certainly, if there was a professor around in a case where two college students died under mysterious circumstances, I don't think that would be a Nobel Prize. Yeah, well, no, we're we're not gonna let, you're not gonna let those people die, you guys. You guys. But yeah. I suggest maybe you get a hold of somebody from the mechanical engineering or electrical engineering department and guys can dissect this thing but not yet not until we get back don't strand us there. we need to close this door so no one else comes through right and go to walmart and get the supplies and then go back yep watch turning it off is almost as wild as turning it on and uh once we're all in here flip the switch mm -hmm. off you Thanks. know what what are the chances that at walmart we can pick up some things that might help us out too and distract them like i don't know fireworks fireworks or, yeah. or remote control shouldn't be difficult to get road flares or fireworks whatsoever yeah, yeah. road flares seem like they'd be quite useful actually uh and maybe we should all get a, a fair quantity of whatever the remotely legal amphetamine they offer as well why like five hour energy or whatever oh where we'd like to be quite alert reliably i'm not really built for search and rescue missions i weigh 96 pounds <laughs> <laughs> if nick was here he'd totally know what song to use for like our loading up montage mm -hmm. all right uh so you guys gonna go get your stuff yeah yep that is without an issue at all I think I'm going to make a list and stay here because I want to monitor. I don't want to leave the professor alone with the device. Yes. Frankly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I want to make sure that if there's some way that it can be opened from the other side or some, you know, I just want to 
maintain the perimeter, as it were. Right. And I can do a little studying while I wait. Okay. Yep. So we'll get good. you what you need. Okay. All right. Um, so, Nicholas, um, you get uh, brought to uh, Town Hall. And uh, when you uh, arrive there, they uh, they approach uh, the the steps up. There's a couple guards there. They approach it. They go, uh, humans first. And they go, by humans first. You know, and they, they, they bring it in. And uh, you come in, and there's a bunch of people kind of just standing in a line. There's uh, obviously other people watching them. And uh, you see about... Ten people ahead of you, you see Alice is standing there. She looks uh, quite afraid. Her head's hung down and and, and everything. And um, one of the guys steps out. He's like going, um, all who are uh, ready to be judged, step forward. And, uh, they kind of hit you in the back with the uh, X handle. Yeah, I'll step forward. Yeah. Okay, so they uh, they look down and uh, they start asking questions of uh, people in front of him, and uh, you can give me a uh, a psychology roll. Uh, fifty-two. Oh yes, yeah, fifty-two out of sixty. Okay, you start. You know, they're, they're obviously not very, not read in, okay, we don't have other witnesses watch what other people say, because then they can figure out what to say. So the first couple people, they kind of go through and they go, okay, uh, you're obviously in league with the monsters, uh, sentenced to death at dawn. And then uh, some people start adjusting what they're they're saying. And when it gets to you... You think you have a pretty good idea of the responses they're they're looking for. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try to be as persuasive as possible here. Okay. Um so uh give me a um I'll, I'll let you choose one of your interpersonal skills besides intimidate. All right. Well, I'm not very intimidating anyway. Yeah. Oh, three. Nice. Oh, three. Okay. All right. Um, they like, they like what they say. Um, you notice that Alice, they got, she got sent to a cell. She was not sentenced to death, but she was sentenced to a cell where they, uh, say that they, they're going to ship her off to a slave camp in, uh, you know, a couple days. Could I, could I use my high degree of success to try to get her? some at least delay her sure i know three is really yeah. good yeah 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 okay so i'll be like i you know i'm not so convinced on the evidence i have a lawyer friend he can represent her oh well well i mean you seem seem okay he's like going you you gave it gave the right salute and everything very you're, pro you're, you're you're very anti-monster very anti-electricity we like that and all he's like going uh let's get you a shirt so they, yeah uh, you know my 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 shirt got taken by a group of electricity lovers oh oh we'll hunt them down and we'll 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 beat them to death, and we'll get. We'll let you do the final swing to crack their skull. Oh, it would be my pleasure. Excellent. So, um, they hand you a uh, mon uh, humans from monsters for a humans first shirt. <laughs> All right. I assume they're they're doing like the uh, the Nazi salute or something. Humans first. Yeah. yeah. The, the late the lazy one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, the other four. So, uh, you guys have got all your gear. <laughs> Which reminds and, me, we need to dirty ourselves up, too. Uh, Looking really clean and nice. Not a good disguise. Right. Well, there's plenty of dirt outside. Just Yeah, rub some dirt. Well, we can all just borrow some of Marco's laundry. 
Yeah, I was going to say, I, have a, I was waiting for Alice to get finished hers before I did my load, so. All right. Okay, so you guys get yourself all dirtied up. You've got your gear. As long as it's reasonable, I mean, it's Walmart. You're like 30, 30 miles from Walmart's headquarters. So, you know, you've got like <laughs> one of the largest Walmarts in the world probably there. It's actually a like, Walmart inside the Walmart's walk. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we're going to... Uh, Get any information we can out of Marco about what he saw of the people in case there's, in addition to the t-shirts, like, yeah. you know, you are, are they wearing, like, weapons? are they wearing hockey gear on their belt? You know, is there anything a, distinctive? A variety, no real official thing. It looks like the shirts were all made individually. It's yeah, some to varying no, degrees of legibility, and some of them don't spell too well. No firearms? <laughs> Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. I mean, eight, 18 months into an apocalypse, I imagine ammunition is increasingly difficult to come by and so on. So, or but maybe we're going to have stockpile it. Yes. And I'm like, I've, yeah, I've been looking at YouTube videos of how to load and, you know, chamber and think I've never fired anything before. No, I, I, I want to fire a BB bat gun well. twice when I was a kid. Machete. <laughs> would uh, yep. would Walmart sell like bulletproof vests or something like that? Uh, I think they do actually. <laughs> like Probably. not not like military grade cap. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, yeah like yeah. like something. so like you, they're not going to stop like they'll stop like shotgun pellets and stuff like right. that. You know, as long as they're not point blank. But I mean, you know. any anything people were wearing on January sixth probably get it a well-stocked walmart in 2024 yeah yeah pretty easily military yeah if we get pistols we can hide those fairly easily yeah yeah i can't yeah. carry a long arm i'd you know be lucky to not shoot my face off regardless i'm going to take that lucky maddock though exactly and i imagine this old dirty basement maddock looks like a pretty sweet piece of kit over there all right all right, so you guys are all crossing over. All What's right, the professors? If we're carrying the machine with us. I feel like okay. Okay. it works on both sides. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Why are we bringing the machine with us? Well, do you want to leave it behind and then we're stuck here for some reason? Do you want to accidentally drop it on the other side and get stuck Which, there? Hide it in the basement on the other side. <laughs> put it, throw the cardboard box in and in smash it. I just don't want to cut our link to this place. I mean, I, I don't want to cut our link back home. Rather, it, it's that, or someone stay behind with the machine. What's what's Professor Hewitt's position? He's uh, he'll stay he'll it. stay here. He'll yeah, stay. He'll stay, stay with, stay with the, machine. the machine. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I uh, guys, I think Hewitt might take the machine for the Nobel Prize and leave us all stranded in an alternative He's universe. He's not going to murder that five occurred. people to get for a Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize? Yeah. No. Have you not have you not met any academics in your also, life? Also, he would be murdering us. We'd have all just gone missing. But he's gonna get the Nobel Prize if he figures it out anyway tomorrow. And we'll be nobody supportive. should have this machine. That's yeah. not to be destroyed. I mean, long term, we gotta destroy this thing to make sure that no one does come from that world into this. For all we know, we're putting a bright beacon out into the universe telling this monster whatever it is. We're next. We take the machine to the callus cellar. We put it underneath a wash tub or a burlap yep. sack. We we close the chain on the door like they had it when we came over. And we, I, I'll tell you what, I'll, I, I've already sent him, I've already emailed him all the photographs I've taken. He should go and start looking things up. I think that's a perfect idea. I don't trust anybody until I'm showered and in bed tonight and Alice and and Nick are alive. Well, but then yeah. there's no way for anyone to come rescue us. That's why we got these, you know, hold up the guns. Yeah, we all get killed and nobody will ever find us because nobody can ever get back into this world. David, why don't you stay here. behind with the machine and the professor and the rest of us go and get Alice or somebody? Because then stay he's behind. not going to have any fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That might be all right. We uh, can trust the professor. 
Well, all right. Phoebe, do you have any psychology? Uh, frankly, reading other human beings is not my strong suit. A little bit, actually. Just, I mean, he had that light in his eye as soon as he saw the thing appear on the. I on got the wall. Uh, so did hard we. success. <laughs> yeah, it was a hard success. Okay. Uh, yeah, the professor. He, you get the feeling he's not going to close the gate on you. Okay. He's yeah. not a monster. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think there were monsters until a couple of hours ago, and now they know they can come out of the ocean and not be yeah. destroyed by nuclear weapons. So I'm well, we, maybe a little. I've already taken a couple of five hours. Don't don't also. look don't look <laughs> at the history of how like some parts of the medical community tears itself apart over Nobel prizes because that shit is depressing. So mm -hmm. yeah, look, the thing is, is that well, we we don't know that their story is true either. I mean, they might think that it's true. But look at the conspiracy bullshit going on in our world right now. What if their whole nuclear war, there were no monsters? I just it was want to just get our them. friends. I just want to get our friends. Let's back. go That's get them. All. Let's okay. get them. All right. So you guys uh, enter into the uh, other world? Yes. It's a good time for a break. Okay. So. Uh, the four of you uh, cross back over into the uh, the other world, and um, you're in the house. I assume you go up to the steps. You're in the kitchen, and uh, where would you like to go? How bad does it smell? Uh, there's not like rotting food or anything. It just smells like uh, you know, it's. There's been electricity long enough that you know they probably had the refrigerator open, so it's not like you know air it's all aired out and everything it just smells dirty and stuff but it doesn't smell like you know lived in an abattoir or anything like that everybody we're who's gonna... lived has figured out how to dig a trench latrine yeah yeah we're going to follow david's plan and uh hide our device or no we're left the device yeah we don't need to worry about that yeah, i don't think we can the use device. them anyway like what's the point hey, you're talking about the uh thing that if we the the machine uh, brought the teleporter yeah the professor's mm -hmm. gonna keep it okay Sure, do we keep an eye on that? No, okay, so now that we're here, sorry, maybe we should have talked about this before. Do we need to tell him a point where maybe, like, what happens if we don't come back? What, what's our fail safe? Does he? I think he needs to watch the tunnel. And if strangers suddenly come running down the tunnel at him, close the gate. No, we can't let we can't let this world infiltrate ours. Although, well, that's a question. PB. In 18 months, how much can a virus mutate in a parallel universe? Have we already let in some superbug from these creeps? Yeah, viruses have. have the potential to mutate pretty quickly. Um, Germs, oh, bacteria, yeah. anything from this universe could be put deadly in ours. Yeah, and vice versa. We could catch, does we seem, catch MERS just in the atmosphere. It does seem like a complete parallel. It's like they it, don't have flying cars or... I mean, it's, honestly, I don't remember what the best movie is most years, and they did. So it's, yeah, it's not, it hasn't been different for long. Yeah. It's like All John right, dies yeah. at the end. <laughs> so, uh, Marco, you followed tracks to where they picked yeah. Just Alice up. Can you peek out the door first there? here? Is there any like sign or movement on the streets or anything like that if we peek out the house? Okay. Uh, Let's try to keep lights off while we're inside the house. We don't want attention directed at the house itself. <laughs> true. Okay. Um, who has the worst luck of the four of you? Still 40? 30. Nice. 64. Matt, I think, oh, no, Nicholas isn't with us. No, okay. I have terrible luck. All right. All right. Give me a luck roll there, Phoebe. 11. Okay. Oh, nope. nice. there, there is no one on the, on the street that you can see. Okay, uh, just off here to the right, you can see the tracks there. We saw the, I think he said he found the phone there. And if we move up here, right there is the last point where I saw Nicholas as the group was coming towards us. They didn't see me, I don't think. They were yelling at me, but they would. Nicholas went out and started talking to them. It did, looks. Did anybody bring a, a smartphone with them? Doesn't or seem to we... work here anyway, I don't think. I, I do still have well, my I mean, phone. the okay should should we just like put them under a bush or something because we can't call each other i don't know if what i think the danger of taking 
video footage with a device that is considered satanic. Yeah. I'm not. Stupid. I'm not sure ultimately what footage here now could really prove. Anyways, if there are no monsters, it just looks like a ruined neighborhood. Yeah. Let's just leave them in That's, the basement. Yeah. Yeah, we can just leave them in the in the callus's fridge and not have to think about getting caught with them. Exactly. Although our guns are enough to get us Probably trouble, implicate I guess. Us. Okay. Um, but yeah, this way you can see there's a scuffle where I think they got her. It looks like something got her anyways. Well, or, or, other than the moonlight, is there like a concentration of firelight somewhere? Um, yeah, I will say to the um, south, which you know is to the center of town. All right, so well, they... Uh, they yeah. They're they're maintaining a, a city center, probably. I bet I bet all of the towns have like fortifications. After eighteen months, did did we say we're from the next town over? Because wouldn't they recognize us? I don't know how many survivors there were. I mean, I'm surprised that these people had their own house. We'll have to get a sense of things. Hopefully, just having the shirts will get us past any cordons. Oh, God, we don't know anything about where we are. And we might have already in inhaled something that will kill us in 24 hours. So let's be bold. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys so wanted to come here. I wanted to send the militia. <laughs> right. So you guys follow the trail? Yeah, I think we will. If if we can tell which way, if we, especially the group that got Nick, if we can tell, okay. there should be more signs easily to tell kind mm -hmm. of where a big group would go. Especially if we know which way, direction they came from and where. Yeah. yeah. Who has who has the worst stealth? I have base. Also, yeah. fifty five here. So, uh, okay. I got thirty. Okay. All right. Uh, so Phoebe, give me a combined luck and stealth roll. Okay. Forty-three. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so you guys are traveling along, uh, trying to sneak, sneak along, and uh, you see someone uh, kind of come around the uh, corner. They're not wearing a human's first shirt. They they see you and they they stop, and then they start back in, backing away quickly. Then hey. They, it is 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 that that Marco? Hey, do and I you, recognize him? You do. You recognize him? It was uh, another fellow student. We'll say it's Jim. It's alternate universe Jim. Yeah, uh, alternate universe Jim. <laughs> hey, when's the last time you saw me, man? Uh, just uh, yesterday. Uh, I, I, when did you go over to the other side? Jim, Jim, no questions. Just come over here, please. Okay, look, look, look you know, I, I don't like the monsters. I haven't been using electricity. I just don't think people should be killed without a fair trial. That's what we but, love yeah. about you, Jim, but come on over. Quick. This is just a disguise, man. Look, if you can't do something with your shirt, act like a prisoner or go hide. Okay, he's like, okay, yeah, I'm... Yeah, I uh, I'll just go go hide, but like, okay. if how did you get you, here? What I, happened? How did you I, get here? I, no, I Jim, live here. Jim's from here, people. Yeah, we're from here too. We're all locals. Yeah. Remember, yeah. we've just Jim. Have you been? Uh, did you see any other humans first peoples with some prisoners today, tonight? Yeah, yeah, they were uh, headed toward town hall. I mean. Uh -huh. I, I I came in from the woods. I was gonna go go through a couple of houses, see if we could find some more canned goods. But that's good. Um, of course, I've got like a a little satchet satchel yeah. of slim jims that mm -hmm. we it's like Jim. Mm -hmm. We found some treats. These are so fresh. They were in a they were in like double double plastic. Oh, so this is this is a fucking treat. <laughs> Have you ever been to Town Hall yourself? 
Uh, not not since uh, you know they, they took over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you, have you seen so, Nicholas and Alice lately? Uh, Alice, yeah, she she was one of them that that they they were driving toward there. They had a uh, them uh, old lady and a, a kid. What about before that? Have you seen her like around lately? In the last couple of days, or yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, an old lady and a kid. Yeah. So uh, Alice was probably real scared, wasn't she? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like I, I figure she'd been been a little desensitized to everything, but man, she looked like petrified. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess if I got grabbed, I would be too, but. Well, it's good. It's I'm glad Do you recognize Marco, Jim. We're we're actually going to go and try and get Alice back. And you know, Nick, the uh, that head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they got Nick. They got they picked Nick up, and we're we're trying to go down and yeah. take our way through. Is there any? Told him not to eat the mushrooms. He can't, he can't help himself, man. He just doesn't want to live in this world. So is there any, like, have they changed any passwords or you wouldn't know you're in the woods? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. But, you know, they're, I, I think they're getting a little less observant. There's there's less people. Uh, you know, what we were talking about there, there, David, how, how we, we thought they were going to, they'd start turning on each other, you know, how, all the uh, extremists will do that when they run out of enemies and they start making their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when the, when the, when the pool of victim gets smaller, they have to narrow the ranks. Yeah. How many are we, with your band right now, Jim? Oh, we, we keep it small, you know, only five or six of us at a time. Right. It makes it hard to, to detect out there. Yeah. Maybe next time you see us, don't mention this event. Well, if you see gotcha. us, if we get back. No, no, no. It. Next time he sees us. Oh, well. Don't hopefully. mention this event. Right. Of course. Here's two more slim chips. All right. We got to move. Oh. Thanks. All right. Nick. Be, be safe, man. I will. I will. Real humans. Real humans. That's right. Rights. People have rights. <laughs> Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, you guys travel along, and about uh, you know, town halls where where it's always been. You you see it. Uh, it's a. Uh, you see some uh, zealot, two zealots uh, guarding the front door. There are uh, you know, but it's a town hall, so there's windows, there's other doors, and and everything. So. Um, these things here, they can take a while to run a a, a rescue operation. So uh, how it's written here is, uh, how do you guys want to uh, get into the building? We won't have you do the whole heist planning out and everything. You know, j- just to get an idea of the situation before we commit. So there's two guys, and they're, they've got baseball bats with yep. nails in them, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And there's some torches made out of animal tallow, kind of, we, you know, in rags. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. We, we have a, a bigger problem than we think. The bigger problem is, what if somebody in there who's in charge is Phoebe or Dave exactly. or knows us, Even the other we- Nick? Jim seemed all right with me. I mean, Jim didn't seem afraid of any of us ex- except surprised by our new outfits. So we're not, um, we're not the baddies over here as far as he knows. But that but, doesn't mean we might not see someone we know and we might have to be prepared to do something we might not normally do. The thing is, Marco, that, that guy we just talked to, that wasn't your friend. That was well, his alternate from this world. We can't rescue I, these I people I, I, owe, I owe him 20 bucks that he didn't ask for it so and honestly i don't want to write into myself even if i'm not one of them i don't think i 
that would sit well with me. And they're going to think that we're monsters. They're going to think that we're doppelgangers. We're some sort of witch yeah. magic copies of them. Well, and yeah, he thought he was surprised to see us wearing humans' first shirts, which means we're not recognized as members of that community. So I don't know that we need to be subtle. Well, if we just walk up and say that we're... We walk up this, if if, if there are if there's a group ahead of us, we can just kind of see what they do and while you're you're action. you're talking, the door opens and you see Nicholas uh walk out the door wearing a human's first shirt. <laughs> hail <laughs> humans, guys. Hail humans. Uh hail humans. Is that our Nicholas or their Nicholas? Does he look filthy or does he look clean? How do you look there, Nick? Uh I think I look relatively clean. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's our Nick. I think so. If we Seems get close and see if you can smell that disgusting cologne he wears, it's a sure sign. Oh, Jean. <laughs> Do you mean Old Spice? <laughs> the, way, <laughs> the way he stockpiles that shit, he might still have some left in this world, though. Okay. Are there any remotely clean-shaven men we've seen so far? Yeah, yeah. Some people are bothering to snip away, so that's not a tell. Not necessarily, though. Yeah. If but if we can we, ask him if, specifics Nick, about tonight. Do you remember what movie and we were watching tell. earlier? Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Can... <laughs> yeah. What are you are guys you doing? doing here? <laughs> Rescuing um, you. Well, is he, he? He's walking out on his own. Yep. Hell, I humans, guess. guys! I've been taken into the fold. Christ, well, okay. obviously, so teach have us, we. Teach us what to do. Uh, is yeah, Alice there's here? A, yeah, there's a problem, which is that she is on schedule to be shipped off to a slave colony. I managed to delay it for a few days, but uh, yeah. Wow. Is it our Alice? Oh, yeah. You know, know there's another Nick here, Nick? No, I just assumed that they were like, you know, we were the Knicks. I mean, yeah. we just ran into what's his face? Jim. Jimmy? Remember for Jim? Jim Shaky Jim. Oh. Yeah. He recognized uh, Marco first because the well there. They have history in I guess both worlds. So do we how how well armed are they in there? They just have like axe handles. Like they don't even have real axes. Uh, did you see any of us in there? No. Did you guys have gun? Do you have guy? Guess guys, Do you have guns? Yeah, fucking yes. loaded, man. Yes. Holy shit! Yeah, you guys could Fire just works. go in there, kill one of them, and then they would all bow down to well, you. I'm sure. It's still killing a person. <laughs> yeah, know. obviously, obviously not in favor of that, but how they many? Are, how many other prisoners are with Alice? Quite a few. I mean, these people apparently dragged off like a few guys to get their heads caved in. They're not nice. Yeah. So maybe we we go behind the town hall building, set some Roman candles to shoot off into the woods, mm -hmm. and they're going to run out there like you kick Idiots. the beehive, right? Mm -hmm. When we go in and we 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 cut the, if they are they shackled? Are they roped? How are they? They're like Probably. in a cell. Right. right. We gotta think though. What's gonna happen after? Do we have a responsibility to worry about if they come back then? And and then shit really could get ugly. Then they might go on a killing spree and just be shooting oh, we just left and right. Not our universe. To... Not our responsibility. Yeah, we yeah. set the people loose. We set off the fireworks. We run in. We set the people loose, and we run. Yeah, it'll be we chaos. Grab Alice. We take our people back, and some of them might follow us. And you know, we can either shake them because they're probably very yeah, no. malnourished. They'll scatter. They'll scatter in the dark. Yeah. Oh, there's a huge. If we take any of them back to our world, there you could run into the same problem again, where they have duplicates. We can't yeah. do that. We've already, can't we've already done that. Can't we've already brought, back. we've already brought the calluses in. And that's what, that's too, too many. Yeah. I, also, probably. if there's some sort of human disease that they, any of them have, we would be bringing that back to yeah, our world. Uh, we, we might be carrying it already ourselves. It's true. Right. Look, so, all right. 
fireworks okay. to the back, right? We I mean maybe we have an array, right? A couple like three directions. Then we mm -hmm. watch the 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 goons run out. We go in with our gun. Does anyone know how to use a handgun? Nick, do you if you have a gun actually? Oh, I know how to use a gun. Right. Well, we brought extra. So we go in uh we cut we cut everybody loose. We scatter them like stolen horses. We just get Alice and we go back to the house and get back to the same universe. Easy peasy. They, they might not be afraid of guns at first because they know they've already run out of bullets. Well, the first time they see one of their kneecaps evaporate, they'll be afraid of guns again. Yeah, there you go. They're loud anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to have another five hour energy drink, sorry. Rosen, you really have a <laughs> Napoleon complex. I mean, not to diagnose in times like these, but... <laughs> we came uh, back for you, that's for sure. I appreciate... No, I appreciate it. All right, so... Um, to make this work, okay, who's going to set up the fireworks? I will... I'm afraid because I haven't... Your friend said that he'd seen you... So I don't know that I'm not, my other guy is not inside. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I will volunteer to yeah. set off the fireworks. Okay. If we need All more right. than one, I'm pretty good at the trails and forest, but yeah, if you want to go ahead, I. Okay. All right. I'm wondering how to delay it. Yeah. Uh, well, I make sure you get away. No, I think what? two of us go again behind the town hall. We stick them in the ground. And then when we've got them mounted, we light them real quick and then run back to the front and yeah. join the others. It's not, I mean, they're, they're, yeah. they're still for children. Yeah. yeah if, if you guys come in with me, they think I'm like a hero or something. We're well, afraid the we're fireworks are going off the next. chaos. So. They didn't recognize me is all I'm saying. No and you didn't means, see us in there. Us. Yeah, maybe, exactly. Maybe the Nick in this world's already gone. Yeah. Or maybe he moved up the corporate ladder and he's in Mississippi or wherever the hell the head of this thing is. Okay. Oh. It would be Mississippi, wouldn't it? Yeah. So uh -huh. um are you doing the fireworks then? Yep. We're yeah. doing the fireworks. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are gonna do the fireworks. Uh what are the other three gonna do? when they're they're doing that be ready to run in i guess be near okay. entrance maybe you know okay all right okay all right uh nick and david do you agree with that run in yep. okay all right okay well, and uh, again the idea is not to, like the town hall has a back door i'm assuming yep that yeah. they're gonna burst out of so we're gonna light and then head toward the front mm -hmm. and join yep. the others so there'll be five of us to go to go in yep, yep. Okay. All right. And then who, when you find the cell, who's going to try and open that? I'm asking all these questions because of how the adventure is yeah. written. So kind of thing. Well, I've got this Mavic somebody can use. I mean, if you stick the thin end of that in a chain and hold the strong end, you're going to do pretty good work probably. Okay. All right. Unless if somebody wants to take that, I'm not the fastest or the strongest. Or the most dexterous. Not really strong either, am I? No. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Here, give it to me, David. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, we'll have uh, Zephyrin and Marco go ahead and give me a uh, intelligence roll to kind of time out the fireworks and stuff. Yeah. You on one side, maybe me on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got I, a hard. Okay. I got a fail by off by nine, so I'll spend the luck. Okay. Uh, I'll put me down to 31 luck, and then it's a regular. Okay. All right. Um, now, the uh, everyone give me a constitution roll for running into the uh, the building. I already have put my constitution is excellent. I got a 16 out huh. of 50, so that is... It's a, a regular. I'm in a hard. 
I got a 12 out of 90. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, good. Um, good. Another, good. Another guy regular. Four. regular. Okay. And how'd do you, you do, you Nicholas? Weights? I'll spend four to pass. Okay. And then finally, Phoebe, give me a strength roll to uh, break that chain. I will spend the eight luck to pass. Okay. So, um, okay. So, speaking of all the successes and stuff, um, we'll say that uh, the people watching this suddenly there's a missing reel, kind of like in, uh, and then yeah. then it it picks back up, and you guys narrate uh, how it went. So, so like, what happened, Marco, when you failed that Constitution roll? Yeah. What what's the aftermath to <laughs> you uh, and all? Because the the people watching the movies they didn't get to see the rescue because like they wore that reel out of the film. <laughs> all right. Okay. So when Marco fell a little bit behind when he failed the Constitution roll, the others got ahead and went on to Alice's cell. But Marco turned and saw another cell that had the old lady and the little kid in it, and. Mm -hmm. then started asking him all kinds of uncomfortable questions um, that that he didn't know how to answer and maybe started making giving more information than he should have about okay. uh, where he's from and what's what they're in what our group's intention is okay all right okay and um, so when, when the when the film loads back up you see uh you guys are running out out of the uh the town hall you've got got alice and marco you're kind of like going oh my god i i, I told her told her too much and stuff but the uh the zealots are uh coming coming after you and um you guys uh do you want to cut through town or maybe cut through the uh cut into the wilderness do we have Marco with us? Because if we don't, Mar Marco, Marco is with you. Marco looks yeah. a little disturbed, like he, uh, you know. Uh... <laughs> We're all together, and we have Alice. Yeah, yep, yep, the woods. Yep, you got Alice. Woods. Go, go. Woods, yep, woods for sure. And okay. I'm going to turn background. on the road before we jump into the woods and just pull out this. Ah, uh, shoot it at him, yeah. And just two shots. Okay. Because I right. think that'll slow him down, yep. no matter how far yep. off I am. Okay. Yeah. You fire away. Uh, yep. They do. I kind of slow down. You guys get, get into the woods and Marco, uh, give me a, um, a navigate. Oh, it sounds good. Where's navigate here. Navigate is not as good, but, uh, forest is very good. Mm -hmm. Would survival forest work? Sure. Hey, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try that. And that is a regular success. Up to okay. So, so you guys kind of cut through the forest. Uh, Marco, with his survival skills, you you point out, okay, hey, don't set here so that no one gets injured and stuff. You guys, uh, Alice, of course, is quite, quite bothered. And you guys get back to the house and the uh, door is gone. Yeah. Okay. Fuck! Stay, stay calm, stay quiet. We just gotta bunker down here and not get any attention. Professor will open the door again. Not gonna say I told you so. I'm not gonna say I told you so. <laughs> no. Yeah, lights down, bunker down. It could be one of the batteries that died. He might be driving just to replace a nine volt battery. True. You Either might that. Show it to somebody else as well. This well, if you shoot or somebody else, I mean, he, you know, ever, anybody wants some beef jerky? I also, <laughs> brought, I also brought string cheese. Yeah. Oh, string right. cheese, please. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's barricade the door to the basement so that nobody can get in. Look, we have to prepare for the worst, right? Where's that stupid book they were talking about that taught them how to make this damn machine? I looked for Let's it. Let's start I looking for find it. Okay. I looked for it already. <laughs> A light so, low, though. Low, low. Yes, we are laying low. So, we so, wait it out. so Phoebe, you kind of look around. Eventually, you go up to the second floor. Yeah. And in uh, what would be your bedroom, uh, you find a, uh, you can give me a sanity roll. You find a uh, sacrifice, human sacrifice. Yep, that's uh, barely a pass, but a pass. Okay, just one point. And on the uh, table next to it is a uh, a book called uh, Dole Chance. 
D H person. Uh, D H. Uh, you do not know the person. D or else it would have been more. D H O L space C H A N T S. Dole Chance. Okay. Yeah, I'll come down. All right. Okay. I have a book. I they killed someone. They killed someone to do this. They killed someone to do this. You're right. You thought they were or something wrong with them. So it required right. a human sacrifice. Was and it open to if it had been open it, to it a was, page, I probably it, would have tried was. to like preserve the spot. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Who wants to try and read it? Well, I've got a lot of languages. I'll look. Yeah, yeah you can it's it's in English. Oh, it's, it's in English. Yeah. I've got some experience with the occult. Okay. okay. It's gonna be an intelligence role, just so you know. I have eighty intelligence. I have seventy five. I'm, I'm intelligent about four fifths of the time as well. <laughs> Half well, the time. let's give it to David then. Okay. All right. Uh give me a roll. Even if we solved it, I can't kill someone. That fucking oh, twelve again. That's two twelves. So that's an extreme intelligence. Extreme, Ooh. okay. Um so uh looking at that, you think you know how to rebuild this and it doesn't take a human sacrifice, it could take also an animal, it just needs blood. Okay. Uh, but you estimate it's going to take you three years to make it. That could be twice as twice as long as it took them. I mean, it's not entirely mad. I, Unless they were working on the the machine before the disaster, before the monsters came. Why did they what use if, a human being if they didn't have to? What if we let them called, out? I told what? I told you guys we should br we should have brought the damn machine with us. What, what I didn't do on the other side. What if they called the monsters? Yeah, that's what indirectly, I was accidentally, by using maybe them. that's the electricity. Maybe that's the machine. I mean, it's the power of the humans. But they said all this happened eighteen months ago, right? Yeah. yeah. But it took them three years to build that machine. Maybe mm -hmm. it took them 18 so they were, months. Well, maybe they were playing around with it for 18 months they before had the, the disaster. They had the parts. We'd have to go out roving to find oh, tubes. Didn't they, and, wait, wait, wait. Didn't they say they made prototypes? I let's try, to, let's try to find a prototype, and that would probably speed it up by quite a bit. Okay. Um. I will give whoever has the lowest luck can can give me a, a roll on that. Pretty sure that's I have 26. 22. 31. No. 64. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, a 12. Okay. Yes. All right. So we'll say say that that you do find some prototypes. So you guys will only be stuck here for about a year. Oh, Mark White, right. big plans back home. Yeah. All right. So um Okay, so playing. here's some things that, that you guys can that that's people need to do to make it through through this. So, so who wants to uh, be working on the device? I think I should. Okay, who wants to uh, protect the group? I'll do that. Okay, who wants to help the group survive? I'll do that. And uh, the last two will say that sometime you've had to risk your life to uh, for the group. Okay, so uh, this is all abstracted here. So, uh, David, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Uh, only 35. That's still hard. Okay, that's all you needed. Okay. You gain 1d10 plus 10 points of Cthulhu Mythos. Yeah. And lose that that amount, uh, lose that amount of sanity. Uh, you said one d ten plus ten. Yep. Okay, okay. that's seventeen. Seventeen <laughs> Cthulhu mythos as you read oh. through this book and realize. <laughs> okay, um, Marco, you were uh, you were going to help the group survive. Okay, yes. give me a survival roll. Okay. 
<laughs> a, oh my god, my dice are cruel tonight. Uh, that is a fail. I will spend 18 luck points to make it up. A, a, a okay, I like it. Success. I like it. BB, give me a roll to protect the group. Fighting brawl, dodge, stealth, listen, your choice. Fighting brawl. They're all just about the same. Mm -hmm. so I'll take that. Oh, no, listen's at 50. Okay. I'll try listen. Uh, 47 under 50. Okay. All right. And finally, Zephyrin and Nicholas, what did you have to do to risk your life to help the group? I had to run out and find food to feed everyone. So we were the sneaks in the dark. Okay. All right. Broken well, other houses. And, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And uh, so with that, you can give me a locksmith or a stealth roll. Well, I got no locksmith at all. My stealth is 30. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. I rolled a 30. Nice. nice. Okay. On yeah. The dot. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, Nicholas, what do you do? I think um, I had to convince someone who saw uh saw us trying to get food that we were with the humans first people okay uh so you can uh, i'll let you pick what skill you want for that um could i use psychology yes you can it, it, okay. it is it is listed as one of the skills for the oh nine nice ah. okay all right okay so two more questions Okay, so uh, did you stay in this house or did you move to somewhere else that was uh, for the, your year of living in this hell hole? We had to stay here, didn't we? Yeah, because I feel like if we're not a door would open threatened. somewhere else. Yeah. I would, okay. I, I would maybe maybe there was shouldn't... one point during it where there was a scare where we briefly left and kind of came back later after after a few weeks. Okay. And yeah, I feel like they might associate this residence with the incursion that happened. So if we just went a couple houses away so that we could maintain yeah. uh, eyes on the place. I'd want to come back we're... when we do the thing. Right. Yeah, sure. we should do the good. thing from here. All right. Good. All right. And then the last thing is, so uh, more of you succeeded than failed. So go ahead and everyone give me a luck roll. Oh, that's not so good these days. I'm down to 13. Nice. Uh, 20 out of 64, I pass. Okay. Um, pass, 23. Pass. Not even close. Okay. If, if you pass, you uh, reduce uh, your... Your con, dex, appearance, and pal, uh, you, you've got 20 points to sp to reduce those by. And you lose uh, 1d3 sanity from living in this hellhole. If you failed, sa same amount of uh, characteristics drop, but you lose 1d10 insanity for living in this and, world. And that was 20 points? In yep, yep. Because, you know... You're not able to take care of yourself anymore you know, properly. And Sorry, what were the stats? Uh, constitution, dex, appearance, or pal. Thank you. Okay. 20, pal. 20 points total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So you looking a little rough. Yeah, I'd say I look 45 instead of 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only one on the uh, sanity loss roll, so got lucky there. Finally, I lost. I lost three. Okay. My constitution took a hit, but I was extremely constitutionally sound despite my frail there frame. You go. All right. So um, you get the machine on. The door appears. I assume you go through it, bringing the machine with you. Yep. yep. So when you open open up the door, uh, this uh, college uh, age girl's uh, she looks up, she screams, and she drops her laundry, and she goes running up the steps away from you. Was it Alice? It was not Alice. Let's say Alice is with us. <laughs> I know, but what if we opened it to another mm -hmm. universe? Yeah, that would been crazy. Okay. Um well, push the dishwasher, the dishwasher, yeah. the washing machine out of the way. I think that maybe in the years since our house has been foreclosed on and resold to someone else. 
Oh, you were. Yeah. I don't think we, we were just it. renting. Yeah, you tenants, were just renting so. it. So, I yeah. think I. I don't think we want to be around here. I'm when just leaving. The authorities arrive. Yeah. We're just going to okay. file out and get and make our way. It's, okay. We still got all our gear. We're probably carrying. Yeah, so yeah, we left our gear. phones in the basement. We still have our phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we really uh, yeah. grabbed our phones. Yep. So you come back, and uh, what do you do? Like, who's the first person you're going to call? I think we want to probably cross. not charged. Well, yeah, you no, you no get charged up and yeah. stuff, but. No, we need to, we need to, who brought cash with us all that time ago? We just need to get to a, we need to get oh my God. to a, gonna call. a motel and clean up and then start trying to re-civilize. We don't want to be here because that yeah. girl called the cops because yeah. she's not I, crazy. We need to put the machine, there's probably a, like a, an igloo cooler in the cellar so we can put the machine inside that and two of us can carry it away from here after turning it off. Yeah. And then we need to like, as soon as we can go to a gas station where we can charge a phone, we get an Uber to the like highway motel that nobody talks about. And we clean ourselves up and start to organize our re-entry so i kept all the receipts yeah. for the guns and stuff hoping that we'd get back and be able to return them all that's not gonna happen obviously no. but um but any chance we could hit a pawn shop maybe or something and try to i'm not oh, sure yeah. i want to walk around with yeah yeah, yeah i'm yeah, gonna yeah. call professor fucking hewitt Okay. Uh, the world uh, famous so, professor. So, so when you uh, look at that, when you call that number, um, after a year, they probably reassigned that number. So uh, a lady answers. She's like, "Hello, is Professor Hewitt there?" Is this a joke? I know it's the anniversary of his death, uh, but you know. Oh, I'm sorry. We're I'm an old friend. I didn't know he'd passed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a, a year ago. Um, he he was murdered in a, a basement, and these five college kids, they, they six college kids, they went missing. We, they, you know, we, they, it's it's on the news. If you just watch the news. They, they, you said they, that he went missing? No, he, he was found dead. The The college kids that lived there, they, they're the prime suspects in his murder because they disappeared. Well, holy crap. I didn't hear any of this. I'll, I'll check the news. Thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And if you turn on the news, yep. Uh, you know, it's like a one year anniversary unsolved case. You guys see your faces as uh, persons of interest in the murder of a physics professor of the University of Arkansas, Professor Hewitt, who was found in the basement of the house that you were renting off of campus. Oh, you think they have like a reenactment of us? How, how, was, like how was he plays? killed? Uh, he was uh, <laughs> stabbed in the back. Who killed him? Somebody Probably got through, him. obviously. Yeah. We yeah, told or him to Jeremy turn off. came back. We told him yeah. to close the gate. And Ingrid. And... But then they would have found that old... guy and blamed them for murdering him. Who they would just, just list us as missing. Is that I don't look anything like I did just over a year ago. So that'll help a little, but we don't have ID and our phones are useless. I've got a full beard. Yeah. I now um, only weigh 89 pounds and I've got these horrible scars from the pox I got. Oh. Uh, you may have to track down the colluses. No, I think we need to never see each other again. Yeah. Yep. The, I'm going uh, to the happiest place on earth, Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we're together, no, no, no world okay. disaster could still make no. me live in Tijuana. Um, yes. 
If you got the machine, turn it on again. I'll go back to the other world. I can make a difference there. I can no, help those no. people. I think we're going to smash the machine. If okay. he wants to go back first, I don't object. We have to break the machine. And suit yourself. You're crazy. But... You know what hell that was like being there? You don't want to live there. It's not going to be nice here. Why? They'll they, Even if they find us, we're going to say that we were drugged and, and look at us. And we didn't have anything to do with his death. They still have to prove it. What proof do they have that we did anything? You want to be tied up in the legal system for years while they fight about whether or not you're guilty? Be my guess. As opposed to living in that hell hole? You know what? There were some good days. There were days when we didn't feel hunted. <laughs> Honestly, there were. I have a family. Not having the internet was really great. <laughs> oh my God. You're all start never, hugging I, trees now. I'd, I'd never heard a quiet night before. Well, Damn. if we're splitting up, I'm I'm going to get cleaned up and see if I can reconnect to my family. David, I'm, I'm not sure those back. those people could use your skills to rebuild a society, to understand law and precedence. There's a, be a lot of work to be done, but... To be fair, Marco, we did spend almost all of the year hiding and counting on the fact that we were better armed. I don't know if I have it in me to be a fugitive in two worlds. <laughs> Maybe what or we could try to make the machine in a different location and come out in a third universe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's staying a... here, David, to answer your question. I'm not going back. I think with enough effort, I could find someone to give me some kind of fake ID. Maybe just call my mom and let her know she, I'm not dead and then go live a life, you know? Leave this yeah. fucking state. <laughs> you know, though, I have to say, Nick. Maybe there's a better world. And I mean, exactly. if it's not the third world, maybe the fourth world. And I have developed I a, the two of you, Buck. a little taste for adventure since I read this book. David, are you willing to change your name to Morty? And then we can Rick be and Morty. Morty. Yeah, you're Rick and Morty. <laughs> Nick That's and Morty. exactly it. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if Rick and Morty still exists in this world. It's been good knowing you guys. I am going to go okay. back to where we came from and see what I can do to help them. Good luck, okay. Marco. All right. I like it. I'm, I'm getting cleaned up and I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Marco, you go back to the other world? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, with your survival skills and stuff, you know, you kind of are living in the other world. Uh, did anyone else go back with him? No. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So, um, a few weeks later, uh, there's, you know, Fox News alert. Do, 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 do. You know, uh, President Vance with a, a important announcement. Uh, he goes, uh, "We're currently monitoring the situation. The tsunami that hit the West Coast is, uh, you know, with massive loss of life and all. Uh, there are unverified reports of some kind of creatures and all, uh, but I guarantee you that that we're going to handle it. And they will not enter this country illegally." And <laughs> Build a wall. <laughs> and then uh, your world becomes the hellhole as the monsters uh, come and destroy this world also. <laughs> well, we have advanced knowledge of what's going to take place, sort of. Well, I guess Nick and so. Nick and David have the right idea then. Go find a better <laughs> world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Let's just try two basements over. What could yeah. it hurt? <laughs> well, you could do it from the the hotel room that you guys are. Beautiful. I think I'm long gone by then. So yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You said yeah. I don't even know where to find you. Yeah. A week? No. A week? A year? Uh, several weeks. Several weeks. Yeah. Later, yeah. We split up by that point. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. All the right. The final question, Nick, is whether we're going to take those things everywhere we go. Undoubtedly. Look, there's if there's an infinite amount of universes, 
then we can sacrifice an infinite amount of universes and it counts as zero. <laughs> I'm going to roll the dice. Then you're the invading monster. Mm-hmm. I like the to destroyer think Marco... of worlds like Oppenheimer. That's right. <laughs> I like to think that Marco's going to run into his alternate universe, Marco, and they'll band together. To... All right. All right. Any, um, anyone get a guess what, what was happening? You guys, guys, uh, some in some of your conjecture, some of you guys hit it. Well, I think it was that book. Go ahead. Yeah, Yog Sothoth is involved. I'm assuming there was an invocation of Yog Sothoth. I feel was it like a Dreamlands thing? Nope, nope. Uh, so, uh, Ingrid and Jeremy, they are uh, cultists who think that it's their duty to, uh, summon to awaken the great old ones and uh once they've destroyed a world they hop to another world with their device and summon another do it again damn them yeah they killed the professor yeah they they were so nice and they stole the device i knew yeah so they hop from a world then they go kill that there are the people here in their world because who would suspect that oh you killed what would have happened if we'd brought the device with us? Uh, if you'd brought the device with you, you would have gotten back. And then, you know, it's up to you. Do you want to hunt those people down? Or if you just wait, then they will. Oh, succeed. they still would have been able to have completed their. They didn't need the machine for the ritual. Okay. No. Got they it. already they already know how to do it. And they know where to find the dole chance in this world because it's the same place they found it in the other <laughs> world. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what a couple of jerks. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. And I made them coffee and nice sandwiches. I know so much for hospitality. I know. <laughs> Baby was right all along. She was when she said it. was like, <laughs> you're, you're right. Was, you're right. Close the door you're the right. <laughs> I was like, duh. Well, Excellent. that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Was very fun. That was amazing. Nice... Yes, thank you. Keith, that was fun. <laughs> hey, we might have destroyed our planet, but we got our friend Alice back, and she's you only did. very traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> we could have just said Alice doesn't live here anymore. And That's right. <laughs> she went she went through the looking glass. Alice is missing. That's right. Yeah. Alice is missing. Oh, I <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> it was we quoted it unintentionally. Our players included David Gasway, Holly Buto, Mike McKen, Max Meltzer, and myself, with Keith Craig as the keeper of arcane lore. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members, you can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Spotify, Podbean, or iTunes. Support for the show is provided by our patrons who are listed in the closing credits. If you would like to show us your appreciation, please visit our Patreon page, or you can use the thanks button just below the screen. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming. <laughs>